Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the home of the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Woo! Awards. And tonight, oh my goodness, these cats are crying. He's so crying. Are you crying? What do you want? Treats? He says, I want to play some yeah? Jaguar and Lynx Ooh, games. Ooh, look, look. Ooh, Is this what you want to play? Which one? This one? Jaguar Lynx. This one? Lynx? Okay, we'll play Lynx first. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna be playing some links <laughs> games first. Um, all the nominees for the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. That's what we'll be all playing tonight. All the kitty tonight. games, all the all time. All the kitty games, <laughs> cat console. Yes, it is the cat consoles tonight. Hey, leave the jaguar alone. <laughs> I love that you have Sprite's face. Um, I'm is that assuming a good one? it's a good one. It's very hard to have a black cat's face on a black background. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it you lighten good. it enough. It looks and good. It's, uh, yeah, it there works. You go. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, so cute. So, we're going to be playing through the uh, Best Atari Lynx Homebrew, Best Atari Lynx Work in Progress <laughs> Homebrew, Best Atari Jaguar Homebrew, and Best Atari Jaguar Work in Progress Homebrew. And the cats are going to cry a yeah. lot. Oh, <laughs> until they get their treats. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes, you are. Um, but before that, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. 8-Bit uh, Poet, Andrea Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 974, Atari HB, Supreme Beer, Poke Up, Brutus Dex, Calico 3333, Seldaz, Chal Mao, Charles Will, and Chitluck, Crypto Coffee, Cerna Reboot, Dale Andrew Darling, Daryl1970, Dave M, DMX87, Dr. Mookhouse, Fiero Dog, Gamer Composer, Gamma Dev, Gangsoft, Gray Defender, Ground Trooper, or Heraldo Ju, Jimothy Sunshire, Johnny WC, Carl G, Karakak, Karako2600, Veltver, Land Express, Lord Kraken, Machine Gex, Markiana Sparks May Sink, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Vital, Miskman, MK Swift, Mr. Zarna, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Money, some Funster, Nathan Strum. Hey, what is this cat doing? Watch him. Uh, Neo Media 1974, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Koagar, Antwitz, R70, Rennings Ghost, Repentless VD, Revan Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster 6, Sweet, Smitty Beef, Spiceware, Spinley, Esmeralda, Stage 1, Boss. The D Train, DK Dan, K Team Events, Token Muncher, Twilight Zoner, Vexorax, Vintage Game Memories, and VVG Double Down. Ooh! That's a lot of names. That is a lot of Atari. names. Uh, if you'd like to add your name to the list and help support the show, you can just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. And you help support. These poor little kittens as well. <laughs> They're so hungry They're for treats. Starving. They're they starving. They never get treats. fed. Oh, only during the show. <laughs> Apparently. And only a little bit of treats. Yeah. Oh, and I want to thank cute. also, uh, let's see, Dan ABC um, and Alan the Fur for resubscribing Yay, just before you, the thank show. You. Thank you so much. Okay. So, let's get on to some news. News. Um, so, I bought some things. Yes, oh, you did. Oh, your computer is asleep. Why is Why it asleep? Was it plugged in? The cats were messing about there. I see the light on. Um, so, I bought some things in anticipation for next uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, where we usually do interviews. And last year, we did some live interviews. Mm -hmm. And um, it went okay, but I wanted to go better. So I bought some new microphones. Yes, did. Um, these can either clip on directly because they've got a microphone in them. They're like that big. Or they can have uh, a lav mic um, mm -hmm. and you can string it through. Um, or you can just put it on like a little handheld microphone as well. So uh, these were very well reviewed. Rode Wireless Pro. And uh, so hopefully they work really well. And I don't have to change batteries because they've got like seven hours and they've got their own little case. You can charge them in it. Really cool. Uh, the other thing is bought a smartphone stabilizer. Mm -hmm. And actually I can show you how it works. It is pretty cool. There's the exact ones we use at church. Very reliable. Yeah, I've yeah. heard very good reviews yeah. on them. So here is the uh, stabilizer. And um, you want to do it like that. And you take off. Mike the cats. I could mic the cats. <laughs> put, yeah. put a little um, they put would, the bow ties on them. You would have to really it. adjust the levels with this little cat, though. It would oh. be rah, at the top Rawr. of his lungs all the time. Rawr. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, then you, you put the little magnetic clip around your phone, put it right in the middle. And this is very cool. It's super cool. Then you attach it and it's magnet. There you go. But they will disassociate if you hold the mute button a bit too long. Okay, good tip to know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, it's updating. That's why. Oh. <laughs> the computer is apparently doing Windows updates right now. Fantastic. Look at that. So. How fancy is that? I can do that. And it will be stable and focus on the subject because it has... Um, External to the camera, it can see faces and track those faces. <laughs> Jumping jacks time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's very stable. I'm excited. You can track the cats. You can run behind them. Track, yep. track. Can. There you go. Track the cats. Yeah. Um, and uh, the microphones plug into a cell phone. That's so very we'll cool. be able to stream to Twitch through the cell phone using the mics. And this is stabilized. Mm. All kinds of good stuff. Let me just uh, power this down. There we go. Fancy. Yes. This Very is all fancy. I've been hearing about for the last two days. So yeah. YouTube videos on how to use the new tech. That's right. Running around with the new tech, terrorizing so the fun. cats. So much fun. And it is fun. <laughs> but I want to do uh, a decent show for everybody watching when we uh, do live events. So um, why not get some decent equipment to Sounds do it good. with? Uh, okay. Sorry, just. So I've got a poll for tonight. I don't know if I've asked it before, but if I've asked it, I'm going to ask it again. Um, physical versus digital for movies. Mm. Uh, the options are all physical. That means, you know, discs, you know, or VHS, I guess. Um, uh, mostly physical, two. Uh, number three, mostly streaming for all streaming or five theater only which i doubt anybody's gonna pick but i've been buying uh movies for our upcoming martin scorsese uh movie marathon and i just got this in the mail today king of comedy which um if anybody hasn't seen this a lot of the last joker movie was based on this film oh yeah yeah the king of comedy and it has the same person in it from the king of comedy acting in the opposite role yes you were saying in the joker yeah yeah neat. yeah it's it's quite cool downloaded that would be streaming um <laughs> but i was looking for another martin scorsese film called bringing out the dead with mm -hmm. nicholas cage in it yeah it is not on blu-ray or 4k really it is only in dvd is it on streaming anywhere? It is on streaming. Okay. okay. In uh, 4K and Blu-ray. Oh, okay. But all the time, movies just disappear from streaming. Yeah. You just can't watch them. Yeah, it's true. Um, some movies have never been issued in digital format, only on VHS. Hmm. So some movies are literally impossible. Bring out mm -hmm. your dad. Uh, literally impossible to watch on streaming yeah, or in digital format. So if you don't have a VCR and a, a VHS uh, tape, you can't watch them. Well, we struggled. We were trying to find some good horror films around Halloween, and we were looking for some more, like some yeah. older ones, some yeah. classic films. And we really struggled to find platforms to watch them off of. Because, you know, they get a couple views a year, maybe, and they're like, no, nah, we don't want them. Yeah. Well, nobody has them. Yeah. <laughs> So how are you supposed to watch these old films? Or you, or you have to sign up for like the Criterion channel and yeah. that's expensive just to watch one film. <laughs> to watch but one film, But you, yeah. like, you know, Google Play will often have movies on demand, but they don't necessarily have classic films. No. So you, it can be very hard to find streaming sometimes. Because they're going for numbers. I can understand they're running a business, but... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sprite surprised Atari. Oh, did he hit him? Did you hit what? his Smack. bum? Yeah, Smack. you did. These cats. Uh, Miss Command says, although Birch is the favorites. Yeah. That's kind of my the way I do it. Yes. You is, do have some physical. Yeah, ones still. that I know that I'm going to watch multiple times yeah. or include them in movie marathons, but... Also, some discs have extras you can't easily find elsewhere, too. Like, sometimes you can find it on illegally YouTube. on YouTube, but there is content on some of those discs that... Yeah. Because we just documentaries and things. Because we don't watched uh, Once Upon elsewhere. a Time in Hollywood just the other night. Yeah. Last night. Yeah. Last two night? nights. Two, two nights. nights ago, 
And we watched a bunch of the extras yeah. afterwards. And it's like, you can't watch that on streaming. No. They don't exist. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if they just don't bother making them anymore or the streaming platforms are like, eh, nobody will watch it or there's just no effort put into it. Mm -hmm. Can you stop being a brat? Uh, that's why I back up so, some of them not to a hard drive. That's also an option. Yeah, is to rip the um, 4K and the Blu-rays to to a hard drive. It might be more convenient, yeah. and you just store away the disc somewhere as a well, additional backup, I guess. Too many films or specific editions only exist physically. Yes. Yeah. Good luck legally streaming a theatrical version of Star Wars, for example. Like the original. Yeah, it's. I have the yeah. Columbia House uh, VHS ver version somewhere. <laughs> Unless right. my parents threw it out, which they might have. Yeah. But uh, I did have the original version, bought yeah. from Columbia House on VHS. And those have been updated, you know, four so times. So many times. And you can't from, watch, from that you can't version. stream the original ones. No, you can't. They've all been rearranged, remixed, recut, CG added. Yeah. Yeah. So it's they're. Hard. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. Um, so, uh, we're going to be playing some more 6th Annual uh, Atari Homebrew Award nominees today. Make sure you vote. If you have not already voted, I believe there are five days left to vote. So, you definitely want to make sure you vote before time runs out. Um, some news. Uh, we played Time Wizard not too long ago. And the developer of Time Wizard released an editor for making your own levels the other day, on Friday, uh, after the show. <laughs> uh, I'm pleased to announce that I prepared a level editor for the game Time Wizard, a really fun puzzle uh, kind of action, but mostly puzzle game, where you have to open doors and get things and rewind time mm. and... Uh, Avoid it's obstacles super, and stuff. Super neat, yeah. Yep. Very. Uh, what's there's that game that it, that's braid? Braid. And there's teleporters. Me of braid. And, yep. And uh, then th he also did an update to there's level editor version 1.1, and uh, then just half an hour ago they uh, released a Linux version of the level editor. So if you're not running Windows, you can. There you go. Um, download the level editor. Oh, version 1.2. It's updated as well today. Mm -hmm. Um, the Love Bite 2024 just happened. Um, it is a competition of making small, small, small programs, mm -hmm. either intro slash demos or games or music, uh, open to all platforms. And there was a, it took place this last weekend and it goes from 16 byte to 1k entries. Mm -hmm. What you can do in 16 bytes? Not much, but apparently you can because they've got a category for 16 yeah. <laughs> bytes. Um, and it runs a gamut of uh, old school computers to new computers to even fantasy console platforms. Cool. So Pico 8 can uh, participate in it. Neat. Um, and here are the results. Um, let me scroll down to the results here. And there was a number of Atari entries. So let's go down. Uh, 128 byte intro. There's one, two, three, four um, from some uh, recognizable names. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, one in there. Uh, 16 byte for the Atari 8 bit. Wow, 16 byte intro. There you go. Oh, a bunch of uh, dollar signs. Nice. <laughs> Probably changing color, disappearing, reappearing. Yeah, you cool. could do some some really uh, very, very, simple um, stuff in basic, maybe. Bright right? colors and yeah, very yeah. nice. Uh, intro, old school, Atari ST there under the 1K. A uh, bunch of 256 byte Jaguar, Lynx, 8 bit, 8 bit. Nice. Um, some familiar names as well. 32 byte for the Jaguar. Uh, 512 byte Atari ST and Lynx. Um, 64 byte Atari 8 bit. So there's tons to check out. Uh, lots and lots and lots. And there was one nano game, old school, uh, for the Atari Lynx. Shiba Fix by 42 Bastion. We've played uh, their games on the show before. So tons and tons and tons of stuff there. Um, 
another uh a jag fest 2024 is coming up in yeah. rochester uh is that yeah. montana, montana minnesota the, you need, <laughs> i don't you know need my, better abbreviations someone knows someone knows MN? what is mn is that montana was that maine maine there's too many mn's uh states oh my god Missouri? minnesota no. minnesota yeah. thank you thank what are you, all the you. other mn states abbreviations is M -A what's maine M -A? M -A -M -I? They gotta, you, mm. when you do an abbreviation, I think we we're looking at something in the oh. fridge the other day. Oh, dates are terrible. I think it was. What is, it's what when the you, month and the day. J-N. It was J-N. What month is that? January? June? <laughs> could, could be expired. Still could be good. Yeah. <laughs> Pick another letter oh. that's unique to it. Carl, oh, there, okay, M-E. M-E for Maine, M-T for Montana, M-I Mont for, there's so many M states. Montana's fine, because yeah. it's only a T. Missouri no, with the O. No, it's not even fine. Minnesota has a T as well. Uh, Missouri. M-N is Minnesota. Mis Missouri could be M -O. Montana. M-O could be M Montana. M-S for Miss. yeah, it's T. It's out of control. It's out of <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> Too many M. It's Too out many of control. All, all the M states. Yep. Uh, M I. See, that could be Missouri. Massachusetts. But it, but Mich so M E for Maine and M A for Massachusetts. Ah, that's yeah. crazy. Anyway, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, anyway, 25 years ago, uh, Carl Forehand, who uh, is uh, in charge of uh, Songbird, uh, hosted a Jag Fest, June 1999. Mm. So this is the first one that he's hosted in. 25 years so he's making a return back to the u.s with jag fest there's been some european jag fest as e jag fest mm. um but that was not hosted by songbird so this is going to take place in rochester mn i've already forgotten Shh. minnesota there it is minnesota <laughs> on june 28th <laughs> and 29th for the 24 25th anniversary oh. celebration maryland uh, yeah there's only 100 tickets Oh wow! Very uh, limited event. That's but what. What do, is it for? Uh, Jag Jaguar. But only a hundred tickets or yeah, so. Yeah, must be a very small room. Wow, that's very exclusive. Um, so thirty dollars <laughs> each, but you get a bunch of stuff with it. You get a ten dollar credit at Songbird. Mm. You get an audio CD. It's a t it's two days, and you get and oh, you upgrade option for a t shirt. I was like, you get a t shirt too. Yeah, thirty bucks. That sounds. He's like not a making good deal. any yeah. money. He's losing losing money <laughs> on this. <laughs> Um, so they've got uh, Lynx, Jaguar, and Nuon systems, all the stuff that Songbird um, uh, sells. Demos of rare games, tournaments, ad hoc swap meet, world premiere. So we're going to be seeing some stuff coming out of there, possibly Very some cool. new games. Have you been to Minnesota, right? Uh, Minneapolis? Yes, Minneapolis. Yeah. Uh, and whatever the twin city of Minneapolis is. <laughs> Uh, I always find it funny when there's the tri cities and, and the, twin the twin cities. There are more than one twin city, so you have oh, to yeah. specify. That's true. It. But people always say, "Oh, the, I went to the twin cities. Which ones?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was in the tri-state area. Which ones? <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Your Pocock's so getting funny. sassy over there with the Saint MP. Paul. Saint <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Saint Paul, and yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, so that's what it was. Minneapolis and Saint Paul. MB Manitoba, Beer Pocock. <laughs> MB Manitoba. There are a lot of M M states, and uh, yeah. So anyway. uh, Canada doesn't doesn't have enough to have all the duplicates. I think we have ten provinces and three territories. Yeah, so. and we had two when I was a child, and then then yes. it became three territories. So we got yeah. another territory in there. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I I have this mental picture of all Americans being in elementary school and being forced to Memorize, memorize all of these states. abbreviations and all the state capitals. Oh my God. Because I know that's a thing. It's like, bad enough like, here. Like it's bragging rights if you know all the state capitals. In alphabetical order. <laughs> we had to memorize them in grade four, but in Canada, it's 10 provinces and three territories. So it's yeah. not quite as, as so bad. daunting as 50 states. So. Oh, Cubanism will skip yeah. that day apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, states and capitals. Yeah, like that. That's a lot. So coming up this weekend. Oh, it's impressed. a long weekend in the U.S. apparently. Uh, President's Day weekend. <laughs> uh, Vintage Computer Festival SoCal mm. uh, is happening. Mm. So if you are in that area, you might want to check that out. Uh, some of the speakers that will be there. 
Um, the firmware developer for FujiNet is going to be there, which oh, cool. we use on the Atari 8-bit. Cool. Um, also, uh, EV uh, Salomon is going to be there. Um, they're the founder and CEO of Backbit. They make a bunch of SD-based cartridges for multiple platforms. Nice. What you do is you buy the one cartridge and you get connectors for each of the different systems. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. 32 different vintage computer and gaming consoles. So, so cool. you buy one and just buy the adapters for That's it. That's amazing. It's it's really, really <laughs> That's cool. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's a song for the States. Uh, someone was saying, uh, where was it here? My sister learned the States in a song alphabetically. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there was even a States and Capitals game for the Atari 8-bit computer. I bet. Yeah. To yes, I game. had to memorize states and capitals. It is, oh, it, is okay. it is a thing. It is is it is a big, to the to tune of, of Yankee Doodle. Yeah, <laughs> I, none of this surprises me in the slightest. Yep. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we just had we just had thirteen, so it wasn't that bad. No, well, we had twelve, but well, twelve have thirteen now. Yeah. Um, I could probably see. still name them. Could you name all the Canadian provinces and their and their capitals? No. <laughs> Not <laughs> could, the East Coast ones. I think I could. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll do that in a bit. We'll see if you can do it. Somebody have to remind us. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I think that's all the news for now. Let's see who got the most votes. Mostly streaming. I would say mostly streaming for us as well. We do have stuff on disc. But we do have some disc. physical ones, yeah. Quite a few, actually. Not as much as before, because I got rid of all the DVDs um, that did have a Blu-ray. I didn't get rid of DVDs that that's the only one that's ever been issued. Yeah. And there's no Blu-ray and never will be a Blu-ray. Well, you're the type of person who would look up every single DVD <laughs> and Blu-ray and just check, okay, is this available? Should I keep it? Does Is it... Because some of them do have some value especially if you can't they actually do yeah. if they've never been released digitally and some haven't yeah they have a lot of value yeah because you can't get that movie otherwise so no and i have a lot of um music concerts oh um, yes yeah on dvd yeah that definitely are not streaming anywhere yeah yeah and that's enough. the only thing place they've been issued Ooh. yeah Ooh, why isn't there a streaming platform for old concerts Ooh. Probably because not enough people watch it. No, I think there would be. I think so. I think that's a market that needs to be exploited. I think there needs to be a streaming site that takes that recorded content yeah. and offers it streaming. And then they can stream new concerts. New and, and, and like, old. There are old concerts people would love to watch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they, see, there's an there idea. There you go. Somebody if, run if with you're, it. If you're uh, free, uh, ambitious. I think that's actually a really cool idea. I bet there is one. Well, you'd, you'd have to get... The license so many for rights. the music and the rights. Uh, so maybe that's the, the rate Music limiting. rights throws a huge wrench that's into things. Because there's so many TV shows yeah. that don't exist on streaming or been mutilated to exist on streaming because of music rights. Yeah, that's Even true. like because they only got the contract for television broadcast and not putting them on DVD. or true. Yeah, so they some some shows just don't exist. On yeah. streaming at all, or even on disc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they just don't exist. Licensing no one's nightmare. tried to... Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Yeah. It's very true. Um, the, the biggest one is uh, WKRP. That's the probably the most... Oh, that's right. You were talking about that. ...known TV show that yeah. had the biggest problem with uh, music rights. Well, because can you every even episode... watch it streaming anywhere? Yeah, but they substitute with generic music. So they, there's not any actual music on it? Some. That they could get wow. the the rights for, but a lot wow. of it's generic, and probably throws off a lot of jokes in the show. Hmm. Like, what is it? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, nightmare. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the games. <laughs> the first category we're going to be playing is a best Atari Lynx homebrew. Mm. Some of these we didn't play too long ago. Because they, I think some of them were part of the Game Jam, which was held at the end of the la uh, last year, just at the very tail of it. So let's switch over all of our stuff. Oh, uh, 
somebody just mentioned Wonder Years. Yes. Yeah. SNL too. Oh yeah, because of SNL all the gets cut. Like the music guests don't get uh, put on YouTube a lot. Of well, times. you you can sometimes see a few. Um, I think it's in Canada. It's global TV, and you can watch SNL, but they cut so much of it out. Like you, there's no musical guests at all. No. And then um, only some of the actual sketches end up on the streaming, which is weird. There's something going going on there, but I don't know. I don't know the reasons for that. But yeah, yeah. SNL, all the musical guests would be cut out. Okay. That's a, that's such up. a shame. I guess you you, ha you you have to buy that DVD, right? Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That old DVD or, you know, that's the only way to really um, watch it. Yep. Okay. First game is Dungeon. Dungeon? Dungeon. What am I Homebrew. looking at here? Homebrew? Top, top, no, top one. Atari Lynx Homebrew. Sorry. Second button, I believe. Yes. Dun. It's like Dungeon. And Armageddon, Dungeddon, 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 done. There we go. Nice. So I'm not sure if you played this one before. I did. There you go. No explanation needed. Get in there. So you can hold down the button. If you there you go. Avoid the axes. Hold down the button. Uh, sorry, Don't is run this? Into them. Oh, oh, oh. And you died. That was terrible. I can do better. Definitely better. Yes. I've done very well. When did we play this? I played this, it feels like not that long ago. No, it wasn't that long ago because the game jam wasn't that long ago. Oh, it's a game jam. Ah. Yeah, it was a Lynx game jam put ah, on by ah. K Retro. Why am I? Igor. Why? You can move left and right. But not. Can I? Can you? I can't go back. Oh. Oh! Sorry. Did you move that? I didn't touch it. No, the B2. B2? Here, start What's again. That? Start again. Move left so and right. So I can go this way. I can't go back. Why can't I go back? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What if I hit off? I'm turning off. Hold on. No, don't. Oh, I have. Off is no good. So if I go Can this you go way. Left? No, I can't go left. Did I do something? I did something. Blame the cats. I think it's cats. Always touching stuff. Did you stuff. fluff it up again? You Fluffing it, it up. up. Yeah, it was you, wasn't it? I was just trying this out before the show and it was working perfectly. Oh no. Okay, don't. I think it's because yum, we started. Yum, yum, yum. That's a good time for treat time and James will figure out what's happening with the controller. <laughs> well, Sort of, because I have to do this stuff too. That's okay. Okay. We can get we can get the bedding, the cat beds, uh, the pets who and beds. That? that was uh that was Cubanismo, woo! Alright. Yeah, cats one hundred percent chewed the cables. Actually it was this guy. <laughs> this little grey fluffy pants right here. <gasps> grey fluffy pants. Yes. Uh I definitely think he did. Yeah. <laughs> He's usually the cable chewer. He okay. is he is a habitual cable Let's chewer. Let's start it up. Place your bets, place your bets, place, place your, your bets. bets. Rewarding kitties for bad behavior. That's right. You get treats for being <laughs> bad. Okay, let me load it up in the background. Oh, are you whiny? Oh, the music might yes, be Yes, you are. So. Oh, is it? It's good music. It is. It's it's the music to bet to. Yeah, <laughs> it's the betting music. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Oh, I think... Oh, is right. it the plug, maybe? Oh, yeah. Are you trying yep. to... Oh, it's working now. Okay. We're okay. all good. We're all good, but it's... Treats are called off. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's treat time. I'm just going to turn it off so we don't have that music in the background for people. Mm-hmm. Okay. you got about 30 or about a minute left. We've got the gray cat in this corner. We've got the black cat in this corner. They are ready to fight. They are hungry. Hungry for treats. Are you hungry for treats? Hungry to ring the bells? Who's going to win today? And by how much? Hmm? Yes, this is the question. So if you haven't played Ooh, before... Sprite by one to two seems to be getting a, getting the majority of the bets. Oh, Sprite 3 Plus has jumped up. 
So if you haven't oh. played this before, just click predict at the top and then pick your cat. The gray one's Atari, black one's uh, Sprite. Um, Sprite usually wins yes. by one to two, but you never know. Sprite could win by a lot. Atari could pull off a Look for a the win. prediction, BR Pocock, if it says predict. Yeah, some people some people are, can't have, find it, and some, some people can. Sometimes it does seem to disappear on people. I'm not sure. Scroll up, scroll down, pull down. Yeah, if there's go into a, options, a click button on, that says predict, that's what you're looking click for. Click on your hamburgers. <laughs> your hamburgers. Click on your three dots. Uh, click on your should be right at the top of chat. Yeah, and I think it it's just over. ended though. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> have you uh, bet before, Br Pocock? Not appearing today. Where oh, I don't know. that's weird. It's very strange. Yeah, yeah it's it did. Gone now. It did just close, but still. Okay, cats. Maybe next round. Maybe next round. They're ready. Okay, you ready? All right. So we have <laughs> the kitties, and they're hungry. Go. Sp spread them out further. That was Sprite. There, there's Atari. Atari is right go. there. Oh, one to one. And they're off. And Sprite's got two points now. Atari's still eating his first one. He's still eating it. Uh, Sprite's back at the bell. Sprite's got three points. It's in the Jaguar. That's not good. Uh, was that Atari? That was Atari. Okay, three, two for Sprite. Come on, Atari. Wolf that one down and then bite it. Sprite has lost his. Uh, I think he got it. Oh, oh and Atari rang Sprite's up. bell. Does count. You are allowed to ring the opponent's bell. Yeah. And, um, oh, Atari did retrieve it. That's good. It's 4 3 for Sprite. Oh, oh five, sorry. I didn't mean to throw, throw it that throw it far. There. Yeah. Hit the bell. You have to hit it. Hit it. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Get your treat. The Get bell. Treat. The actual bell. There Yay. you go. Good. Oh, what my God. Happening? Okay, that's not good. Maybe you can place it on the ground in front of them, because this is getting chaotic. Chaos! Oh, Sprite! Here. There we go. Sprite 6-4! Next. Oh, oh double one. ring! And two. Seven to five. There you go. Sprite's ahead. Sprite. Beeping sound in the background. Is that Lynx? Oh, it's the video. Ow! <laughs> oh my God. Can you throw it in front of them? Okay, Atari got one and okay. Sprite got one. They've got very sharp claws. I know. Eight to six for Sprite. Oh, Sprite, Sprite rang again. One. It is now game point. Come Hit. on, you can catch up. Catch up a the little bell. bit. The actual bell. Hit the bell. Oh, double ring. Double ring, but that puts Sprite over the edge by three. Three plus. And it's over and over about. Oh, uh. three plus for Sprite. It was very close. Very, very close. <laughs> Smitty B. My heart votes for Atari, my virtual wallet votes for Sprite. Yes, unfortunately. Sprite by by three three whiskers. Good game, kitties. Oh. Good game. That's why. I oh. think one of the cats pushed the joystick. So he was trying to go through the menus. Oh no. Oh no. Did it add tension? I don't know. <laughs> Attention to the game. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's uh, dole out the points. Ooh, points! See who got it. Three plus for Sprite. Da, 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 da. It really felt like it would be an Atari night. He came, he was doing Maybe pretty good. Time. I do feel good about him tonight. He seems on top of things. Ooh, all went to Captain Classic. Congratulations, <laughs> Captain Classic! Wow! What? Wow! What a smart bet on oh that. 10,000 channel points to Captain Classic. Wow, good job. Okay. Is it too late to change my prediction? Unfortunately, mm, it is. Yeah, it's yes. hard to hard to change your bet after the horses have left the gate. <laughs> okay. Good showing, kitties. Come on, Atari. You can do better next time. I think Atari was on it, but... Uh, he, was, he had... He had moments where he, had he was doing pretty good. a little bit of chaotic good. energy going on there, but yeah, uh, yeah, he was doing pretty well. So let's try this again. Now that the cats have eaten, mm. yeah, it was a good race. It was a pretty good race. Okay, so if you could load it up again to the homebrew at the top. Yeah, it was clicking through. What? And Dun Dun Geddon, Dun Geddon, I'd like to hear the dev pronounce it. 
Usually, I only see it. things written out, so it's very hard to know how things are pronounced. <laughs> yeah, this is much better now that I can move back and forth that and, does and dodge the bit, axe, because eh? you would get to a certain point and it would be like, I can't get <laughs> get around the axe. You're playing on axe. hard mode. Yeah, it, it was 100% <laughs> hard mode. Yep. Get out of there. Ooh, ah. you almost ran into that axe. So, like beautiful um, graphics in this one. Oh, I was Ran trying right to kill them it. all. I know you don't have oh, to. Oh, no, you don't have to. No. Um, so, if anybody didn't know, uh, this is part of a Lynx Jam where the tile set was provided for, um, and you came up with the game around the tile set, and it said not, not to use the tile set, obviously. Yes. Because there is, um, there's monsters, there's dungeony kind of things. It was I all very RPG esque. Very RPG esque, yeah. and there are some really creative entries, and uh, this is one of them. Kind of a endless shooter. Yeah, I guess. it is an endless shooter, a dungeon endless, uh, endless dungeon shooter. Shooter, yeah. I mean, Look it, it is a shooter. Background's great too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks all really, really nice. And there's the levels. Um, does the, level do the one? levels change? Yes, they do. You get different um, guys at the end of each. Like waves? Maybe? I thought so. Yeah, there's waves, isn't there? Uh, I think it just keeps going. Oh, I, I, don't I thought I thought they changed all of a sudden. The colors or something? Is there, wasn't there? A, wasn't there a boss? Or am I well, thinking we'll, of another we'll let game? Let it play for a little bit, but I don't think so. I think it just keeps going and going. That's awesome. Yep. Gotta dodge the axes. <laughs> yeah, don't ah! sacrifice your life. Um, yeah, and in prep for the show, I noticed that there was uh, an update to this game. I ah. can't remember. Was there an update? Um, I can't remember what it what the update. That, oh, there's see? a boss. I told you there was oh, a boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's stuck at the, I remember that. He got stuck at the top last time too. Oh, oh, I see. That's his, that's your time to like really throw some arrows at him. He gets stuck at the top or the bottom. There we Yay. go. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next one. All right, this is lots, round two. There are lots rounds. Of games. Yeah, excellent. It's really fun. Really fun game. Next one is Growing Ties Deluxe, and actually we have a cartridge for this one. Which one? Oh, cartridge. Ah, very nice. Pop multi-cart out. There you go. So, we'll just play the, the basic Ties game, because there's multiple games in this. Have you played this one? Yeah. Okay. Good. Grow the tie. Cut, cut the, the tie. tie. And you're trying to get it as close to the. Oh, this one's a little bit quieter than the last one. As close to what they Ooh, want as possible. Too long. Does the does the Lynx ambidextrous controls make a twin stick shooter possible? Perfect. Theoretically, I mean, it, it's not ambidextrous. It has one D-pad and it has two fire buttons on the other side, but it also has some option buttons. It has three option buttons, but they're not laid out in a way that's really conducive to a twin stick, I don't think. Maybe if you created your own um, external controller, because there would be four directions with four buttons, so you could make a twin stick shooter game. But very few people would be able to play it as a proper twin stick shooter game, because you could use the op one option for up, one option for down, and then A and B for left to right, but it just wouldn't be in the right configuration. Um, Yes, the SNES button layout makes it possible. So there are um, 
external controllers that you can use, like the SNES, we got an early external controller with um, two buttons with the uh, Sega Master System layout. Um, so that doesn't quite work. I would like to upgrade to the SNES controller output eventually. I don't know if I'd be able to do it myself and uh, redo the controller or I might get somebody else to do it. I don't think you can read which side a button is on. Ooh. Yeah, definitely an original concept. <laughs> Carl G says, I really love how delightfully weird this one is. Yeah, this is super unique. Like cutting ties <laughs> of a certain length for customers. Um, but, you know, if you're going retro, oh, good one, 10, 9, good one. Ah! Oh, but you don't lose anything for dropping a tie. Oh, nice, 10. Yeah. yeah, you made it. New record. So there are goals that you're trying yeah, to Yeah, a minimum. Yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, some patron wanted... Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. I'm... I'm... Okay, we're going to go into the next game. Is it Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> now you have to do specific ties, specific colors, certain people at first. Oh, this is not a multi -card. Uh Next one is Scuturnia, which is on the multi -card. On the multi -card? Scuturnia? Scuturnia. Oh, sorry, I haven't been saying the names. Dungeon Dungeon was by Paul Lay, Place Off. Growing Ties Deluxe was by Dr. Ludos. Uh, Carl Forehand on the music, mm -hmm. uh, the aforementioned songbird. Uh, and William Thorpe on the packaging artwork. Scuturnia. And this is by Alex Kraken. Lord Kraken. You're on a scooter. You're avoiding uh, old people getting across the street, and you're avoiding cars. You can jump by pressing the button, but do so at the very last minute because it's not a super far jump. Oh, this one's this one's loud. Oh, you're gonna have to jump those. Oh gosh. It's a short jump. It is. So it's better to avoid than to try and jump. Jump is like last minute ditch effort to last ditch effort to, to avoid. You can't jump double in a row super quick, so you can oh. I'm hitting the wrong button, I think. Is it this one? Somebody needs to invent a tie vending machine. Uh, uh, it's this jump. one. Jump. No, I'm just trying to figure out the buttons. Oh. You don't get much space. Alright, go. Oh, oh, on top of the car. It's Destroyed hard. Destroyed some fancy car. <laughs> you don't get My very turn. far. Okay. Oops. Oh my god. I got called a boomer. <laughs> no! Hey, kittens. You did pretty well. Oh I my god. Can, I think you can just beat that black kitten. Chunk though. of cars in a row. And it's just a four cars no, spanning the whole Oh my god. Yeah, it's hard. To start you have to press <laughs> the button, but the button jumps right away. Yeah. Uh is that right? Do both buttons jump? High vending machines. <laughs> both buttons jump, but the button starts the game too. Uh yeah. It's a bit of an issue. Yeah. It's, it looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Those cars look fantastic. Um, yeah, the Lynx has scaling built in, so it's it's great when uh, games can put that to use. Mm. Okay, so you press a button once you can start. You now, just need to go left or right, too. To start? Yeah. No, no. No, I went left, right. I didn't hit oh, the button really? to start. Yeah. Oh, I'll try that. Old Granny's I think moonwalking. <gasps> too far. Let's see. Okay, good. Then it's fine. All is forgiven. Yes. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Moonwalking grandma. 
Ah, oh, so hard. One more. Yeah, the moonwalking grandma. Best to avoid, but sometimes those cars. They're all over the road. Look at those cars. They're on the sidewalk. This place is chaos. This grandma's crossing in front of the... Goodbye, car. Hi, kittens. Mama. Yeah. Can I go on the sidewalk? I can go. Fluffy. Oh, my... Oh. I think these guys are shedding. Well, it is springtime. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Fluff all over me. Is it a, kind of an addictive game where you're like, I think, oh my God. I can do better. I can do better. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. Mm. Next game is Starblader uh, by Retro Guru. Uh, Shahaz Sa uh, Sahib, uh, Gisberto Ronadella, Rondinella, uh, Simon, Simon Butler, and Mihao Spilovsky. Oh, what? That a... 18 plus. Oh, that was gorgeous. It's mature. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and you skipped it. Oh, well. Go for it. Oh, yeah, you might want to. Jumps right, this. crouch left. A neck hit. Oh, oh, it's a fighting game. A and B, headbutt. Ooh. Ooh double buttons. I will just smash the buttons <laughs> like I do with all of these games. The Kotex Forest. And I believe this is a port of a... Um, it's a game I played on the C64. I'm sure it was made for... Oh, you're kicking his ass. More like chopping his legs off. Button mashing. Button mashing wins the day. At least on the first level. Head chop for the win. Barbarian, that's it. Captain Classic. It is a port of Barbarian. It has it has the same... You can do a full spin around, cheap, uh, and chop their head off in this, I believe. Really? I would love to see you do it. Because in, in Barbarian, a little guy comes by and picks up his head... And picks up his body and drags it off. Smash it up. Smash it up. Which one are you? I'm the blue, but blue. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> You're winning. Am I? Yep. You're jumping. There you go. Stop moving. Except the um, spinning sword blade takes a long time to execute. So the opponent almost always can block it. Much blood over the grass. That's why it's a mature game. Uh, still winning. Still winning. Those kicks aren't doing much, but oh, that helps. That's getting them. There you yeah. Go. Woo. There it is in this too. They cart him away. Oh, I think he kicks the head. Does he? Kicks the head <laughs> he off kicks the screen. The head. Oh, that's funny. Try and do a, a head chop. I don't know what that is. I'd have to look at the uh, controls. Oh, just. Try. I think it's a single button and might be back. <sighs> Head chop. Try do it now. Don't go. At, don't go up to him. That one. Ah. You have to do it a little bit far away from him because he can anticipate it and just block you. So if you back up and do it now, now, like there, he was just trying. Up and button one, Captain Classic. Did yeah, you find it, it is. It is up and button one. Yeah. Okay. Try and back off and try. And I'm do getting it. killed now. Yes, you are. I want to see the head come off. Okay, do it now. 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 Oh. Oh. I you have to back up. Destroyed. You have to way back up. Way, 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 way there. Oh, he interrupted you. It's it's very hard to execute. Yeah. Obviously. Because it takes so long. He's like, oh, I see what's coming. Stab. Do it now. 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 Yeah! yeah! Kick. <laughs> see? He kicked it. He kicked it off the screen. <laughs> nice. That's pretty impressive. Yep. 
<laughs> Good stuff. Decapitation bonus. <laughs> 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 Good times. Execute a head chop. I see what you did there. <laughs> Next one is Stinger by Fabrizio Caruso. Haha, <laughs> Smitty B. Power up, rockets, point, freeze. Have we played this? I don't think I've played it. Oh, we have played. Rockets, points, please. I don't know what that is. Light, medium, stealth. Oh, okay. Do you want to play this one? Um, sure. I'm gonna get. I'm we, gonna refresh my drink, and okay. you're better at the tank games than I. <laughs> so. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, I, oh, I do remember this. Oh no, I died immediately. I think you have to push them back. Though. Oh, there are power-ups. You can get them off the screen, but I don't know if that's like super advantageous because they just kind of reappear. So you really kind of want to go after the ones that are coming down, I think, and avoid the bullets. forgotten what all the power-ups but I'm definitely gonna get all the power-ups yeah I remember playing this it was a little while back push them back push them back push them way back I think it's just low like every game has its own volume there's no uh, standards <laughs> no uh, I guess uh, volume standards like if you make a movie and you submit it to like a streaming platform like I did um, you have to have very exacting audio standards or they will reject your film and they'll be like, yeah, this is, this is too low or this is too loud. Um, obviously in video games, there is no such thing. Even in like AAA titles, I think it's just like, yeah, maybe there's some standards. Like if you're part of like a big company, it's like a first party title. Um, and also it has to, movies also have to pass a, a quality control check and they look for duplicate frames and also blank frames too. Bonus! Thank you. Oh, oh, oh what's bonuses? going on? Bonuses? Oh, you're shooting? Two bonuses. Oh, from the bottom. Oh, yep. okay. You shoot tanks as they come down. And, and they come and try and get you. This is level two, so I'm guessing there's going to be a couple new tanks as they come out. Different. Uh... Neat. Yeah. Kind of tower defense, but not really, because you don't set things up. You actually actively... I guess it's just a play on a sh the old, uh, an old shooter idea with power-ups. Someone said no game sound or is it just very quiet? I don't hear any I've already addressed that. Oh, okay. It's very quiet. It is, okay. And I was talking about standards for movies and oh. audio. And oh, I see. You're like out of sound, the sound standards? Like, yes. Yeah. And how there, I don't think there is one for video games because people just turn things up and down. Mm. Like, That's I'm sure true. we've played video games and it's like, oh, this is super loud or this yeah. game is super quiet. Yeah. People don't, companies don't care. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But, it, like, if you put a movie on, but even then, like, you think they're standards, but then you, there's commercials and you're like, oh my god, it's so loud. That's, and you know what that is? The commercials are working within the standards, but they're mm. also exploiting them, too by using compression and also frequency uh, manipulation because some frequencies don't register as loud as other frequencies true because computers hear different than our ears and they can't really track what our ears hear so what you're saying is developers have no standards <laughs> did i say that yeah nostalgic Just <laughs> And in theory, anything authorized has a reference range. Mm. The Atari 2600 had had standards. They encouraged games to be couch compliant, although they didn't have the spiffy logo. <laughs> uh, the, I don't 
Did they encourage games to be couch compliant on the 2600? Very few games you could start with the button. Mm. You always had to start with reset, especially well. like Atari Atari games. You had to always press the reset. But people had the Atari near their couch <laughs> back then. Or they sat on the floor in front of the TV. Uh, yes. That was pretty, pretty common. Because the only person who would play a game would be a child, and they would be sitting on the floor. <laughs> Most <laughs> Kind of the would. assumption, yeah. Some Do not copy. De, de, de dieu. We are all gods. Oh, good translation. So this is by uh, Odin X is by Alex Kraken, Lord Kraken, Alexander uh, Grade, uh, created by Drozerx for the music. Have to adjust the audio once again. Uh, Michał uh, Spilowski. Uh, I blasted your ears. Sorry. And William Thorpe for the packaging and artwork. Tiny. <laughs> Bigger. Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a shooter. Go for it. Uh, Chitlala, I've been using auto gain on my computer for years to make sure all the volumes are pretty much the same. You'd think televisions would have that by now. They do. They do have that by now. Um, they have audio compression. You can set it to a small amount of compression, medium, or a large amount. And I actually have compression on the show as well for us and the games. But that only works within a certain amount and you don't want to put it too heavy. Get that. Um, or you will get lots of pulsing and huge dips as well. And I also have compression on when we talk, the volume of the game music goes down so you can hear us, but then it goes back up when we don't talk so you can hear the music. If I wanted to just, you know, be quiet and then you can hear the music. End game sounds. It's such a beautiful game. Look at that it background. Really Look at it. Beautiful scrolling Take background. Take it in. Drink it in. It's beautiful. It's it's eyeballs. Get it. Oh, don't oh, die. Oh, no. Oh. Not very good at this game. I remember back then the VCS 2600 had to be placed on the couch and it had a long RF and power adapter cable. So reset was couch compliant. That's true. Um, and um, they went even further on the 5200, the four port 5200, yeah. Yeah. and they combined the power cable and the RF cable together, which was a very strange thing to do. Boss! And, uh, but they got rid of that in the uh, subsequent two port 5200. So I think people were really scared of um, getting shocked. Because if you put it in in the wrong order, you would get a shock. Because literally, power is going through uh, the cable, as, as well as the television signal. Oh, now you got a shield. A little bit of a shield, that's good. Triple shot. I think you're doing pretty good. Oh, cat. I think that's just points. Points, I think you're correct. Oh, my whiner cat. Those boys will arc too. Yeah, I uh, I have experienced that. <laughs> Plugging things in the wrong way. So really you want to plug everything in, then plug it into the wall. But I've since had my four port modded, so it doesn't use that. Uh, doesn't use that external box. And um, it uses a standard barrel connector. Oh. We'll stop it after this boss. Okay. <laughs> it's such a beautiful so game. so cute. Oh, he's even bigger. He's huge. Is he bigger? He's bigger. Oh, yeah. This game has huge bosses. Bonk. 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 Hi. You're so cute. Don't I don't remember the music of this. Is the music uh, new? Did we play it when it didn't have music? Uh, no, this, this is the version remember. we played. I it. It's so funny. It's such a great game. I don't think you were there when I played so through beautiful. it, though. Yay! Kill you did it! 
Level two, I think there's five or six levels. I think so. I don't yeah. know how far we got, but we did play. I, I made it to the end. Did you? Yeah. Because it was so fun. Oh, so much fun. This but is right up your you alley. You can play it all again. And I didn't know that. Yes. But we are, it, I already played it way too long. Through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can play it on a harder version. Yes. Okay, so that is the last one of the best Atari Lynx homebrew. And we're going to move on to best Atari Lynx work in progress homebrew. Such a great. Come on. Do the three presses. Okay. So the first one is Chasm Warden by Igor Kroman. Igor. Work in progress? Yep. Chasm Warden. Chasm or chasm? Depends where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> and how your parents pronounced it. Uh, wimp mode? Uh, let's try. I don't know what I picked. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know, know which one is A or B. Yeah. A to throw the bomb. Oh, you dominated this one. Did I? Oh, you're playing the hard mode. Good. Because last time you played easy mode. Better get those guys on the right hands to the oh, other side. Oh, that's right. There you go. Clear it up a bit. I don't. You don't have to do that right away. Actually, I wouldn't do that. I can't remember now. You want to get them in a row. Yeah, that's right. And in a string. There. And wait for it. Wait for those to get. And to get that white one down Why at the bottom. Not? Oh, there. On the left, because then all the red ones will come together eventually. Don't get them yet. Oh, it continues across the ladder. Yeah. I didn't know that. They go on both sides of the ladder. Yeah. And afterwards, we figured out that that guy down at the bottom is giving you the next ball. Yes, he is. <laughs> Don't throw it at the red ones yet. Oh. Those red ones, eh, I'd still wait a bit. You can get a better combo. Three of those together. Ooh, yeah, another red one. I would just keep getting the non-red ones on the left-hand side, and the non-green ones on the right-hand side. Unfortunate when you when you throw it at the wrong time though, and they all moved and you're like, ah. Oh. You'll be able to get that green one when he goes around the bottom there. Well, I'll probably get the reds. After that? Yeah, we'll see. <gasps> yeah, because you can now you can't get that white one. Yeah. So you might as well do it. So there is kind of a limit. <laughs> do the red to get all the red ones. Wait, wait, wait for it. Yeah. Now you can do the red ones. Boom, 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 boom. Nice combo. Oh, it's almost time for green. Oh, you could probably wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. That white one will come around the corner. You could probably get the red ones. Uh, maybe not. I don't know if you'll be able to get all the red ones. Oh, throw it at the red one. Nice, perfect. Two extra greens. Have to get those greens, we'll move on. Okay. Ooh, ooh, can you get that white one? Don't think so. No. Boom, boom, boom. 900,000. Move! 13, 1458. Very nice. Very nice. Your pull map bot has declared the pull closed. It does that. Mm -hmm. 
And the winner is mostly streaming with 50% of the people. Uh, Circuit Dude uh, by Alex uh, Thiessen. Or Thiessen. Play. No editing. Uh... Doing um, you are connecting all the circuits. Now you have to walk over them in a pattern, I believe, and then end up at the last one. No, go to no. I can't go, go that to, way. Oh, is it not working again? No, I can't. I can't go to the left. Oh, now it's working. What? Yes, it is. That's. It was being a little odd there. Okay. Close yourself in. There you go. Now you get the idea now. Getting harder now. Hmm. Mistake. <laughs> Pull it down. Boom. It's a puzzle game. That it is. Hmm. I believe you can't pass through them again once you've already walked. No, over you them. can't. So you could go around that way, that way. I think you have to. Um. Might have done that wrong, but that's okay. Now mm. it might be trouble. Ooh. Oh. That's how you do it. Because mm. you can go on it and leave it. Yes. Yeah. You just can't pass through it. Now you've got one way walkways. Oh, look at this cute little cat. He is so cuddly. Are you cuddly? Oh. Yes, you are. Oh, he's all tuckered out. This one's kind of easy because it kind of doesn't give you many options. Yeah. Reminds me a bit of Chip's challenge. Well, it is a port. I can't remember the research I did when I had this. Let me see what Chip's challenge looks like. Might be a port of that. I would, well, Chip's Challenge has different stuff going on because it has doors and keys. This one is black and white. That has color doors and keys. Chip's was links already. Ah. I probably did that wrong. That's okay. Mm. Oh, no. You're, okay, you're still good. Still good there. Mmm, clever. Interesting. Almost have to leave a path to go back through and do you it again. Do. It's different, but a similar sort of tile-based movement puzzle. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Because then you're blocked off. We got the idea. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, when we're not playing 30 games. Yeah. Okay. Next one is Grogger. <laughs> there we go. 
And by the name, you'd think it'd be a Frogger. Uh, port, yeah. Port. But it no. is not a Frogger port. It is a Tapper port. You want to play this game. Oh, I know sure. you do. James's favorite. Well, I wouldn't say arcade. favorite, but I do play it. You enjoy it, and you play it well. There is um, maybe um, a tapper at the arcade that we go to. Yeah, it, d it does have a pole. Mm -hmm. um, a, a proper um, beer... What is it? Beer dispenser? Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? Puller? Uh, pole? Tap. Tap? That's what where tapper comes from. I'm like, it took me a second. It's just called it's a, a tap. tap. It's a tap. Oh, okay. Go away, slug. Tap. Draft tap, Dra yeah. Draft tap. Hence the name tapper. Oh, he wasn't in there yet. You what? threw it. You threw it. He was on the screen. No, he wasn't. He was in the, he was, oh. I call shenanigans. Shenanigans. That doesn't count? I guess not. Oh my God. I wish to file a complaint. <laughs> oh, two at the same time. I should have ran in. One more, one more game. Mm -hmm. hard because you have to pull it hold it down for a certain amount of time before letting go or it just it doesn't complete it just stands there so mm. I mean it's not full yet so it's almost a rhythm game mm -hmm. it, in a way it's a rhythm game now this is from the same competition right uh grogger from yes the, it is yeah because those are all the characters. They're all the same characters, yeah, as the um, the shooting, uh, bow and arrow shooting game. Yep. Got it? Yeah. Very good. Oh, no, don't throw it yet at mm -hmm. that person. They're not quite in the door. <laughs> Don't you wish bars actually work this way? <laughs> or you have to catch your beer? You line up and they just launch it. They launch it to you. Someone somewhere must have created a, a bar that works oh, like this. Oh, yeah. You walk in the door and they, they launch. You know, you would just tap your card nowadays. Tap the card, launch a beer. Launch a beer. Yeah. You miss it, your fault. And this game, if you miss it, it's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> so that's probably how it would work in real life, too. <laughs> Don't give me a drink. I haven't taken my coat off. <laughs> <laughs> that must be it. I'm not quite ready for their drink yet. Oh, we got it. Good job. Didn't think I'd get it there. Don't think... Oh, that guy's almost at the front of the bar. Yes. No floor show. No, not in this game. <laughs> Unfortunately, no halftime show. Oh, Beer poker. what? Shop boys work about like that on a bad day. <laughs> oh, Oof. almost died there. Oh my God, it gets really hard. Didn't know they dragged you off. Yeah, it didn't take too long. Don't let them get too close to you. They're pretty. Mean. Pretty mean. Jeez. They're like, they like I've been grog. waiting two seconds. They like their grog. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
Got it. Come on. Oh. Kept coming. Yeah. It's the time between you pull it and the time they get it, and it could be another person in the door. Oh, mm. Very good run, though. Good That's run. enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next game oh, is uh, Hero Dust by Kaneda FR. Sprite's mind. Mm. What's in your mind? Treats, 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 treats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Help us, please. Okay. Keep calm. Explain yourself. They are everywhere. What? Who? Where? These damn humans! They invented our dungeons! <laughs> <laughs> Understood. I'm on my way. This is another one by the part of the Lynx Jam. Nice. Hero Dust. Chop. <laughs> oh, first first perspective. Yes. Stabby, stabby, stab. You attack. Swipe. Die. That's right, you're killing the humans. Defending the dungeon from the humans. Finally. All these humans looking for treasure and attacking the poor people in their home of the dungeon. They live there. All these adventurers thinking they're high and mighty and they're in the... All these little blonde girls, <laughs> exactly. What are they doing down in there in the first place anyway? Oh, three of them. Now I'm gonna die. Triplets. Yeah, you're probably gonna die. Stabby, stab. Stabby, stabby, stab. Two experience points. Oh, oh. HP one. Oh, oh no, no, I have no potions or anything, do I? No, you haven't got any yet. Oh no, how? Ugh. I think it just dead. I think it just drops. Oh, and you and died. died. You died. <laughs> a poor dungeon cleaner. <laughs> but by the look of the dungeon, he wasn't doing a lot of cleaning. So no, not very. Next one's not very tidy. Red against the machines by Alex Kraken, Lord Kraken. Red against the machine. Yep. At least they're not wearing blue, blue dresses, dresses and holding hands. And... Come play with us, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> play forever. to start. Play! Arcade! Arcade, die, die, die. <laughs> what am I doing? So you collect the wrenches. Don't run into the swirly things like you almost did just there. Get those wrenches. No! Oh my don't gosh. run into the swirly things! Yay! So it's got a real-time clock that constantly counts up. And there's, what, 99 rooms to go 99. through? 99! Oh my goodness. 99 hearts you've got and zero deaths. Oh, I think it just... There must be like, okay, a limit, like a f X number of rooms and... You can die as much as you want. Well, no one wants to die. <laughs> well, um, so lower deaths and lower time. Yes. Cute little uh, it is cute. things in between. Ooh, just enough room. Oh, oh. no, squish. And oh. it keeps the blood on them. Okay, run. I don't know how you do oh, that. Oh, you're going to have to go in between them. Is there enough room there? I don't think so. No, it's a little bit smaller than the... <gasps> a little bit smaller than the left-hand side. There you go. Run! Get out of there! Oh, I love the red blood. Everything's <laughs> blue and white and then... Very striking. Except for you and your leftovers. Oh god, they're fast. I can't 
Chaos. They're like kittens. Oh, <laughs> chaos cats. <laughs> chaos cats all over the place. These games are great. Yeah. Yes, they are. So creative. This is super cute. So glad I got a Lynx to play on the show. So many get great uh, creative homebrews for the Lynx. Because it's a very powerful system, but yeah. low resolution. So yeah. the combination of those is really, really, oh my god, oh. is really, really cool. <laughs> that was good. Okay. And uh, the Pico 8 really reminds me of the Lynx quite a lot. Run! Whew. Oh, the name of the game is Red Against the Machines <laughs> by Alex Kraken. You're the red. They are the machines. Is this back? This looks like the same level. Um, Maybe. Level one. Maybe. Maybe. It is a demo. Oh, Might is be it? limited. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. This looks like the same one. Three deaths, 96 lives left. Yeah, I guess I they add up to a hundred. Are they faster? Maybe. Ah, oh, smoosh. This is this is a level you've done before. Isn't it right? is. Yeah. Okay, we might. Switch. Okay, might we'll switch we'll, we'll we'll switch to the next one. And the last, best Atari Lynx work in progress mm. homebrew is Running Night by Doctor Ludos. <laughs> Running night. Run, night, run. Get the treasure, avoid the pillars. And you can press the button to run faster. Oh, so I need to hold the button, do I? Ah. Don't need to. That does make you go faster. Doesn't give you any advantage, because there's, no. there's no time limit. You score points just as quick. Running as you don't, or maybe you get more do points do running. No, not really. Love the explosion. Oh. <laughs> the explosion of coins when you get a chest. Oh, no more chests. There we go. Hidden chest. Secret chest. Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, you got it. Oh, you could have stayed up there. Oh, so many chests in a row. I believe this game is purely randomized. It, it appears to be. Yeah. Probably restricted in the fact that, like, you can't make too many pillars in one spot, like, verticals, um, so that you have a place to go by. And then it's like, oh, I'm put a chest every uh, X. There's a chance, you know, whatever. One in 20 that a chest is going to be there. Sometimes you go for a little bit, no chest. Sometimes there's three in a row. It's true. Sometimes there's, ooh, that, be, you don't might. have to get you it. You don't have to get the chest. That no. one was, ooh, two. Whoa, on top of each other. Oh, pillars. So many pillars. <gasps> oh, and I realize I got that close. New record. New Whee! record. <laughs> Since it's turned it on. Hi, what are you doing? Are you chewing my hair? Are you chewing hair? What are you doing? <laughs> He's perfect. Uh, so that's the uh, last Lynx nominated game. Nice. Uh, those were the works in progress. Now Very we're going nice. to move on to the Jaguar. Yay! I'll dismantle all of this. There's some excited cats. Anyone feel like giving them some catnip? It would be a good time to It would be catnip. a good time, and it does tend to give Atari an advantage in, in later games. So. But that's only if you feel like donating your bits. Maybe the winner of the last game. <laughs> Are you trying to pressure Captain Classic? Yay, Beer Pocock! Thank you! 
Let's see if we can get Atari winning the next round, eh? Are you guys ready? Do you want some catnip? Meh. Do you like catnip? Meh. You're gonna have to put it on the kitties. <laughs> oh, okay. Just for a second while you're setting up the jaguar. Here. All right, let's watch the kitties. Do you want, yeah? Here, there's some for you. I don't have anything for you. Oh, fluffy floor already. I know. Here, here, there's some for you. There's some for you. Here, here, here. Hey, you, right here. Oh my goodness, you guys are so bad. <laughs> Silly cats. Here. Kitty upper time. Or downers. I'm not really sure. Are they uppers or are they downers for the cats? Seems seems to have both effects. Yeah. Are you gonna have some Sprite? Is he not chewing? Well, is he doing? Atari is eating it all. <laughs> He's messing with him. Smack him smacking him in the face. Oh, back last, of the headshot. Very nice. Last three times <laughs> Sprite has been smacking Atari during during the catnip. Really? Yes, yeah, smack in his face. Very mean. There they are. Need two coasters or two caps. So, well, yeah. I only have one with me. I don't know where you must have a coaster on that. Yeah, oh, I yeah. Desk over there somewhere. That's okay. Look at them. They're yin yanging it right now. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are cute. Oh, oh all over the floor. All over the floor. Just vacuumed. Well, the robot just vacuumed. <laughs> Apologize to Rosie. Rosie the robot? What's no, that no. from? <laughs> oh, well, the Jetsons. Jetsons. But yes. You know, it's, our, our robot's called Cat Killer. Mm-hmm. Because it terrorizes the cats. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Enjoying the catnip? Well, they're still eating it. They're not quite in roly poly stage yet. Oh, it usually t takes a couple of seconds. For yeah, that. they're still enjoying it. Oh, he gave them so much. I didn't give them that much, actually. No. no. Oh, starting to lick. Lick them. Lick themselves. Oh. He's, he's playing with them. <laughs> being silly. You were being silly. He's rubbing it now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's switch over to my other, my Jaguar 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards <laughs> themed cart. Very nice. Might as well use it. I, I made it. Okay, kittens, you get relegated to Tiny Cam. Um, <laughs> so the first, oh, the door shut. You want out? You sure you don't want more? Oh, gotcha. so the first, uh, we're going to be doing the best Jaguar, Atari Jaguar homebrew first. Uh, the first nominated game is Blockum Sockum by Second Dimension, Reboot, Lawrence Stavely for the code, Rold Strauss for the music, Jay Leal for graphics, and also Jan, uh, John Hancock. Nice. Uh, good night, Nostalgic. Block them, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Yeah, you can always watch it online on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't miss anything. Just the intro. Just the standard Atari. The intro. standard Jaguar intro. Good night, Miss Command. Night, Miss Command. Hard. Might as well. Might as well. I think you have to do it in less moves. Yes. In hard. So you got the purple. Now go get. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't do it. You oh, do that purple. way. That's how you yeah. do it. Then you get a red. Now you do the yeah, red. Yeah, I remember it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Not getting many. That'll change to yellow. And we gotta go. That only gets one. You only have three tosses left. Oh, I only do? Oh my goodness. Two tosses left. Oh no. I think you're gonna have to do this level over. I think you're right. <laughs> well, I wasn't. Uh... One toss left, and you yeah, have to get down to four. It's okay. That's fine. 
Do it again. Oh, you disappointed John Hancock. <laughs> oh no! Just throw in the blocks. Yeah, you have to maximize maximize your blocks you get with each throw. So that's a good one to start, I think. Because then you'll get a purple one, and then when you throw and get those purple ones, you get a red. And yeah. you get. Then you could get either that red or the red there, and you get a green. Yeah. There's lots of possibilities. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, that's that one. one. You get two of them. And then get the. Yep. Then you get a purple, and then you get a yellow, and then you get a green, and. There you go. Get the greens to the change. Oh, well, you have to do that. One toss left, and throw it at the red one, and you'll be down to four. And you win. Only need four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I think in this one, mm. you only get enough tosses just just to do it. Just to do it. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the. You get that one, and then you throw it at those greens. You get a red. You can throw it at those reds and get a green. And you throw it. It's not great. No. Nope. I guess you missed one. Yeah, I think I, I think you're right. red one um that'll give you green uh, and then you do those greens but that'll give you a red again but you need I that think, red i think you should have done those greens first uh. yeah, purple. Wait, wait. no no do that whole line of purple there get any of it. Goal is four. I nope. know, I won't Missed make one. it. Ah, so okay, close. Try again. And I think you have to do that far, far, far right first. This one? Yeah. That'll give you a red and then do the red. To get a green, to but then it. I have to switch it. Oh. Okay, and do it again. <laughs> Not cool. mm, something doing something wrong. Oh, oh, four left. Oof. Oh, yeah, you just need yeah. four. It's a fun game. Mm. Back out. This be the last level. Mm. Pass or fail. It's the last level. 22 tosses, yeah. Uh, have to end up with four. Probably two out of the four are the two, top two. Probably just a lot of cleanup at the end. And yellow to purple, purple to yellow, and yellow to green. And then you just start tossing them wherever you want. Get all the greens first. Uh, probably the yellow. Greens first. Get rid of it. And then, yeah, yellow. Say up the most. I think, I think. Oh, yeah, you can make it. You're already down five. And you have four tosses left. And reds. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Actually, gonna beat the goal. Oh, yep. oh, it ends at four. Oh, no matter what you do. Yeah. Okay. All there right. You go. Uh, no, just keep holding it. I need to run out. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Next one is the hunt by William Thorup. Bitjag. Uh, and 
uh, Mihao uh, Radecki Mikulik Mikulish and uh, for the music and Jakob uh, Debski for original code and Pavel Shevjik uh, for original artwork and graphics. Now this is a strategy game. It's a very beautiful uh, title screen. Nice fade out, everything but the red. Okay, now. Gonna take a little bit to remember this. We got quite good at this. Now some of those guys can shoot, some of those guys can move. We have been waiting for this one, Cubanismo, yeah. If you want a really good demonstration of this game. Okay. Achievement first blood. I got him. Now I have... Oh yeah, I have to move so that they don't shoot me. Oh cool, I yeah. think I've seen this game. It's a good strategy. Oh, I can't go there, but I can go there. I can go, no, I can't go there. <laughs> Damn it. Stab. <gasps> stabby, stabby. Can I go get the box? So you pick where you're going to? And then I get to pick more energy per kill, greater health. Restore. Restore health. I'm at one out of three. Maybe I should restore health. There you go. And then you exit off the screen. Cubanismo says, been waiting for this one. Yep. Now those, oh, I can't remember what each guy is. I think, yeah, the guy with the gun can shoot, but he can't shoot me there. God, the grenade. Mm. Think I'm safe here? Yes. Mm. Attack him there. There we go. Then you have free rain because there's no, there's no one there. Then you get to pick an upgrade. It, mm. It's a really great strategy game. Um, Enjoying the font, like the font. Oh yeah, great font. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, Good choice. Predator based. Yes. <laughs> Reduce cloak. Oh yeah, there's cloaking. You can become invisible as well. And there's spears, spears as well. Damn, I totally forgot about this. I think uh, the buttons, the number buttons, change your weapons. Let's get more energy per kill. Let's just see the buttons. No. Okay. Let's just exit. Um, is it C or A? No, it's just one button. Change the weapons. And that guy shoots. Kill the dog. He's gonna get ya. Oh, he shot you! Very oh, cool. Great. This looks really cool. It's, it's, yeah, uh, Erlen was on the show when we played this. Oh, he must have liked it. And he, he loved, loved strategy. Yeah. yeah. And we got, we got pretty decent at figuring it out. So that's a grenade guy. So I kind of just have to catch up to him. There. And then get the box, which gives you another upgrade. I know I'm missing something here. I don't have all the instructions for all the games, but there are spears that you can throw, like one spear. Oh, fight cat. There's a cat showdown going on also, in the cat cam right now. You can also cloak. Yeah. And when they hit you, you decloak, or when you... Sh sir. I don't... Sorry. <laughs> he was... Oh. <laughs> 
cat showdown. So, sorry, uh, Sprite got on his hind legs and was smacking at him like he was a oh. he was a grizzly bear for a second. Oh no, I missed hey, it. Sorry, I'm sorry. So we'll just play one more round. Okay. Dogs can do two movement. Two? Oh, that makes sense. That so makes you sense. you kind of have to count it out a bit. So now I can move into the dog and attack him. Mm. I'm going to move away from the grenade, but if I move there, the guy can shoot me because he can mm. shoot in eight directions. Mm -hmm. But I can move there and he can't shoot me there. Mm. So you have to watch all of these guys. It's about positioning. Again, I, I can see Erlen being a chess player, loving yes. this game. So that guy stabs you yeah. when you're next to him but you have to move next to him first. So if I move there, he can shoot me. If I move there, he can shoot me. If I move there, I'm okay. Uh, he can shoot me there. Can't shoot me there. But then the grenade guy goes. I have to go down. I have to go down. Because it'll get me there. Yeah. It'll get me there. It won't get me there. It won't get me there It won't either. get you there either. But I'll go there. I think I'm good there. Not good there good there. And I can stab this guy if I move there. Stabby stabby. <laughs> now all I have to do is contend with... So you have a spear. Shooter. You don't have a weapon. Do you get weapons I, I eventually? Do. You do get a spear to throw, but I I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> the Hunt Kitta Edition. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Very go. cool. It's, it's a super cool stretch game. Um, next game is Novagen Volume 1. So there's actually two games in this one. I've got the cartridge for this, so we'll be using the cartridge for that. And we'll quickly play it. Come here, killer. Come oh, here. Oh, there's the big bear. Oh, vicious. Are you big, big grizzly? I'm a big cat. Yeah, I'm huge. I'm a, I'm a big panther. Yeah, are you? Are you a jaguar? You're a jaguar. He's a panther. He's a jaguar. Are there black jaguars? Jaguars are black. What are panthers? Black as well. They're oh, black. I don't know, actually. Panthers are black. Jaguars? No, jaguars aren't black. I'm sorry. I was thinking of a panther. So, sure. Play encounter first. Then we'll play. We played this one before. Oh, yeah. Couple of times. I remember this one. Oh. This one is the straight shooter, and the other one's the bouncy shooter. Yeah, I, I like this one better. <laughs> really? I think we like. I think we like the bouncy one. Really? Better. Oh, the bounce. Oh no, no. Now I remember which one you're referring to. Yeah. Um, the bouncy one is interesting. Is yeah. really interesting. This more. one is a little bit maybe easier to play. Oh, your radar. Oh, there's the radar. Trying to out the other one, the radar has it over top of the screen. Oh, dodge. Ah, oh, you got hit. One of your things got hit. Can't remember which one it is. Oh, it's behind you. He's behind me. How is he behind me? I think in this game I exclusively use the radar. You kind of do. I didn't even bother looking at the screen because the radar is so accurate. Ooh, Ooh. You do have to dodge yeah. shots though. Yeah. Watch out for. Got him. I think you need to get what? twenty, or is there five left to get? <gasps> you oh. got me from behind. Oh. Jaguars are spotted. Yes. I was thinking for a second, jaguars this, this and panthers guy's the are the jaguar. same, but they're not. That's the panther. This is the jaguar. He's got some spots, He's mostly a cougar. stripes. Oh, I got you shot again. He oh. is a cougar. He does look like a cougar. He has. There's something about his face. Yes. It's very he has cougar like. A cougar face. I've seen a black jaguar with black spots. Like the spots are darker or lighter black. Oh. Fluffy panther. Are you a fluffy guy. panther? Yes. Domesticated Oh, two more to go. Once you get that, we'll switch over. <gasps> oh, snuck up on you. He, he teleported really Oh, close I think you were me. near the teleporter. Yeah, That's what it happens. Oh, no. Run. 
One more left. Oh boy. And I have two shield left. Hey, 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 leave Bernie alone. No. Oh, now you gotta go find the teleporter. There it is. Hey, leave Bernie alone. No. No. Oh. Now as long as you keep your square outside of a rock, you're fine. It's the only thing that matters. Ah! No, don't get too crazy. Yeah, don't it's, move too fast. Yeah, it's slow. Dangerous. Slow and calm. Whew. Enter in the portal. There you okay. go. Okay. Woo! Very we'll do, cool. And we'll do the next one on the cartridge. Oh, the spots were noticeable at, in like the sun. Like a hologram. Like a hologram. Oh, wow. The Jaguar system colors imply they're black, but on Jag ads, they're orange and spotted. Mm. Press button. Skip. Oh, maybe we can't. Skip nope. that Atari age. Nope. Oh, and thank you to Atari age for sponsoring the 6th annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Woo! Thank you so much. Are you playing the... You want to play... Oh, the, you sure. play the next one. Yeah. Backlash. The bouncy bullet one. Yeah. Okay. Now the radar is over top. Mm-hmm. Which is... I find the radar harder to... It's, it's a little hard to see. It does get darker, though. The background gets darker over time. Anything? No. That's where the things come out of. Okay. This one has a little bit you know, faster action to it. Probably because it's there's, more sparse. There's something very Tron-like about these games. Like you're a yes. human shoved into a video game and you're going to die, you know? <laughs> yes. You there's no nothing chance. there but the game. Like, there's nothing. Yeah. It's a, as, um, the other one is has better landscape, but this has bigger explosions. Oh my god. It's a I think I have it's to coming shoot up it. behind you. Yeah, you have, you have to shoot, to shoot it. Yeah, that. yeah. Has anyone ever made a Space Invaders game from the point of view of the Space Invader? Shooting one ship? Well, you could be the ship dropping the, the invaders down and then adding more as time goes on. I don't know. That just yeah, shooting the of... ship. It's like that uh, Pac-Man game that, that's really fun where you play oh. the ghosts, you know? Like... Hmm. Reversing the role. I don't think so. I don't think anybody's done that, that I've seen. How would you do that? You would you would move, so you wouldn't be able to control the movement, but you would be able to control your shot downwards, your hmm. your bullet shot downwards. But you're only fighting against one person. Yeah, and and do you yeah. control all of them or just one of you? And then it maybe switches? when you get shot, your consciousness changes to another space invader. You're the one that's shooting? Interesting. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas. <laughs> it's been I'm a long day. <laughs> you start. I mean, um, you could do it with VR quite well. Yeah. Because that would have a good perspective. Oh, my God. Get my ass handed to me on this. Oh, my God. What the hell? Definitely did better last time. It's brutal. One more quick one. More like a little bear, though. I almost called him bear. 
Yeah? Yeah, because he was quite oh. chocolatey brown in his fur. It's much blacker now, but it was very dark brown. So he did have... Oh, you're talking about Sprite? Yeah, Sprite oh. did have a bit of a bear look to him when we yes. first got him. He was quite brown. And then the brown kind of... Um, it was his baby hair. It was, yeah, thing. almost like it, it. he lost that fur, so... Okay. Next game. Next game. Raiding Rivers. Oh, that's exciting. I think you should play that one because you're also better at that, that game. Okay. It's a fun game. It is. Mm-hmm. I got a patch for it. Mm. Well, we got a patch for it. <laughs> did we or did you? Yeah. I think it was you. Yeah. I scored higher than you, but didn't, I don't know if it said. If we both, I think it's just you, you got the higher score. <laughs> so they're so fluffy. I know, he's he's shedding. Oh, we gotta brush these cats. I know. Are you sheddy? Yeah. Chat is silent now. Yeah. Um, you can read out the um, credits for this game. We are looking at Raiding Rivers by Lauren Stavely, Cyrano J, Rolled Stress for Music, Eric D, DSP. Uh, that's what he did. What's DSP? Uh, digital Signal Processing. Okay. Alexander Anderlex Grade, um, D Jackson, and Carol Shaw for the sprites. Carol Shaw is the original programmer of the, the raid. Oh, nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I think in this, oh my God, what am I doing? Uh, in this game for the Jaguar, you really have to watch your, mm -hmm. um, fuel is the killer mm -hmm. in this one. The fuel goes down so fast. So I'm gonna slow right down for the fuel and get every single fuel. Mm -hmm. I made a bit of a mistake at the beginning of this game by shooting a whole bunch of fuel. <laughs> I love those rainbow balloons. They look fantastic. Oh, yeah. Some really great um, graphics in this one. Police helicopters. Oh, fuel. You need every fuel you can get. Sometimes you have to make very last minute decisions on which path to go that has fuel on one side. Oh, full. Okay, good. Back to nominal amounts. Yeah, when, when the high score was happening, um, so I put in my high score, and I think I was in second place at that time, or first, and then like four more people and came in and beat me. <laughs> <laughs> After I posted my score, and they beat me by that much. Oh, so, that much is the worst. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like they played till they beat me, and yeah. then... Uh, it's one thing when people game. like destroy your score. That's something else. But yeah. when it's like ten points ahead of you, it's you're like, like, "Come on!" I know that was just deliberate. Played long, <laughs> just played long enough to beat me. What Which, was the last game you were playing? Uh, it was a double header uh, game. It was. Um, Nova Gen Volume One, which includes Backlash and Encounter. Mm. So and um and it's for sale. At Atari age, came out at PRGE. That's why I had it on cartridge. It's nice to have it on cartridge if you can. It is. Yeah. You get all the instructions and all the fancy accoutrements too. That's right. Some, oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're not gonna play a full game of this because it uh, goes on for a James while. James will keep playing for a while. I think it was about 45 minutes it take, took to get my High fifth, score? fifth place score. <laughs> Still pretty good. Yeah, I will not be trying to beat that today. Because we have a few games to get through. Just curious, will we be heading back to the arcade anytime soon? Uh, The local arcade you yeah. mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this weekend? Okay. Okay. Well, that'd be a good idea. I got a, a gift certificate for yes. it uh, for Christmas, I believe. So 
It would be a good time to use it. Okay. Yes. Okay. River Raid. River Raid is done. Or Raiding Rivers. Raiding I'm Rivers. Sorry. 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 Close. <laughs> Close. Yep. Uh, next one is Rocket Ranger by Lawrence Stavely, Cyrano J. Uh, we also have the cartridge for that. I don't know how much we'll get into this game. It is very complex. Um, it also has a code system we might have to look up. Actually, we probably will have to look up. Probably will have to, yep. Um, Beautiful game. But we might just show like the intro and screens and stuff and not get too much into the gameplay. But yeah, we'll get into the first part of the gameplay. I miss Cubanismo as a comment there. That's how it went for me too. Born blonde, now black. Where it is in gray. <laughs> oh, the gray. <laughs> yeah. I was quite blonde when I was a child. Not so much now. 1940. Oh, here's the decoder. Perfect. The year is 1940. Hitler's goose stepping hordes are sweeping across Europe. Okay, <laughs> fast forward. That was funny. <laughs> I enjoyed that. You can you can you can say yeah, the transcontinental. No, it's no. a terrible voice. <laughs> I, I think really, you should I think so you should cheesy. intro this whole game with that voice. <laughs> with a nasally transcontinental <laughs> accent. Yes. Transatlantic. Transit well, transatlantic. Yes, that's right. Not transatlantic. Yeah. That's a flight. Mhm. Mm Stuntman. This is originally by Cinemaware, um, who made beautiful games. Um, they relied a lot on the visuals, but mm. the gameplay, it was a lot of mini games that they put into their games. Yes. Um, like uh, Rocket Ranger and. Uh, Three Stooges and I may not be able to skip this. What's the other one? I always forget the name of Defender of the Crown, which I did play on my C64. <sighs> Secret Decoder Wheel. So they changed the Secret Decoder Wheel into a postcard, which is much. So, uh, you go to the f fuel depot first. <laughs> war room? Maybe the war room? I think it's the fuel depot. Okay. okay. Oh, no. We have to go to figure out where we're going, but um, you need to transfer a bunch of them from storage over to your rocket ship. Oh, what's happening? I'm going back. Oh, okay. Go to the war room then. Then we can figure out where we need to go. And then we can figure out what fuel we need. I think. I think we've done this completely wrong. I think you need to transfer the... Oh, okay. Oh, and then you transfer it here. Yeah, so go exit. You need to fill up some stuff. Oh, time is quick. Go to the fuel depot, transfer a bunch of fuel. To the rocket ship? Yep. No. Nope, oh, yeah, work. I think you have to do left and right. Uh, not the war room. Rank it up. How? Where? Where am I going? Europe? Just lots. I no, think you, Europe. Um, where was I going to go? I think you do it on the map screen, actually. No, but you have to figure out where you're going to go first, so you can transfer the fuel you need. I don't know. Germany? From the U.S. U.S. to Germany. Sixty-nine. Sure. I remember that you have to. Do you have to do it exactly here, or do you do it on on the map? Nothing there for little cats. But you need to have enough to. You do, do it. have to have enough, yeah. I remember so little about this. I read yeah. about this.
Okay. Got to get to the moon and destroy the moon base. Okay. Yeah, that's the eventual goal. Okay. Shoot for the moon, Carl G says. I don't remember any of this when we were playing it before to get to the first game part of it. You have to get the info from them. Nazi efficiency is at 80%. We don't know much about this game. You must That's destroy right. depot at all costs. Okay. Because when they flash, they have something to say. Oh, do you, you have to look at all of them? You can destroy these, I think. But, well, you can move them around, too. Infiltrate. Organize resistance. You have to hold it down for a little bit. <laughs> Watch out for that ba uh, Adolf Hitler. He's a bad egg. I've heard that. Bad egg. I mean, a real bad egg. Oh, in the in this country. Oh, okay. Maybe we can. a different button to go there because you can pick other places if I'm not mistaken and you can create agents like I remember reading it but it's been a while there's no agents assigned there is a screen where you assign agents hmm. so I think you can I think I would die though they're too far away That's what we wanted. There we go. Click button to transfer Lunarium. Where are we going? Do we or do we know? just need it? Oh yeah. Okay, so 60. To where? Where are we going? Well, we'll find out in a second, I think. What? I don't know where we're going. I don't know. It didn't say on the screen where we're going. Germany? Were we going to Germany? Well, we don't have enough then. So it's 69 to Germany. Oh, he dies and crashes. Oops. Ticket to nowhere. So does, is it always to Germany, the first one? I have no idea. But we didn't have enough Lunarium. We did to begin with, but I guess it went down. Does it have to be in your rocket? Okay, let's go back. Oh no. We don't have any linarium, do we? No. We have zero left. Exit. Other button. Other button. Some other button. Oh. 
sure. SOS. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. You're supposed to play the mini games and get more Lunarium, but I didn't look it up. I didn't look it up. I did. I did. I think the first time we played this, I actually looked up a little bit on how to play it. Yeah. Exit. Yeah. We have to transfer a bunch. Then. But we. Go to the fuel depot. So we have, so have 70 in the rocket ship, but not was, enough in the rocket pack. So we needed it in the rocket oh, pack. What's the rocket ship? You don't even use the rocket ship I to guess begin you, with. Uh, yeah. So you need at least Just, 69 to get to Germany. So it's Germany is the first. I think you set the amount to pick the destination. I don't uh, know. Um, Maybe. So it looks like it's highlighted. Like yeah. Germany is highlighted. You need 69. Yeah. We'll make it. We'll get there. And then you get intercepted, then you have to do a mini game and not die. And if you die, then you lose all your lunarium, lunarium again. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hooray, we didn't crash and burn. <laughs> we didn't die. Dogfight in the clouds. This is not easy. No, it's not. This game is quite challenging. You have to shoot. There it is. Oh. Oh, you have to hit him perfectly. There you go, you got one. Did I just die? No. Nope. I'm gonna stay in the center this time. No one plays. Fell down. Oh, not doing very well. Get... No, it's, it's, it's challenging. It's very <laughs> challenging. I remember uh, seeing something like you have to be perfectly placed. You have to know exactly where to place them to hit them. The thing is, they're. Bullets don't fly through the air. They're kind of like I, it's hard to know where they're hitting me. Yeah, and dead. And dead. And I have nothing in my pack. <laughs> nothing right. in my pack. <laughs> I would suggest it's a complicated game. Watching videos of somebody else playing this yeah, game. Yeah, before you before you um, dive into it, one. it's it's a very cool game though. Next one is Switchblade 2, uh, which we don't have uh, a cartridge for. Oh. I do not have that cartridge. So, sorry, we're but back we'll be in the... playing. Um, yeah, just don't don't touch it. We don't have it. Um, I'll be playing a video of that. Nope, I just launched Block'em Sock'em. Why, that's okay. why did you do that? <laughs> I thought I was going backwards. That's no. bad. You're basically. My. <laughs> that was my issue. Okay, so let's take a look at a video of that. This one happens to be from John Hancock, the video, the game you just started. It's per, let's see. Very nice. So I've queued it up to be right. I haven't played a lot of Switch Blade 2. I've played a little bit of this version. I'm going to show that later. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> cool. Oh. Neat, neat platformer. So you got a play, you got a gun. You're, it's a platformer. Uh, it's running into some fire on the ground. There's some things to pick up. Oh, some ladders. But action, a little bit of looks like kind of action platformer. Stealthy, yeah. A, a tiny bit of stealth. And uh, what kind of genre is this called? Where it's scrolls the screen. It's not. It's not a flip screen. And it's scrolling. Not, um, and it does like continuous almost. Yeah. Actually, 
sometimes it scrolls properly, like like constant scroll. But sometimes it's like doesn't show everything, and then you hit something and it shows the rest of the screen. There's a name for that. So lots of power ups, lots of ladders and rooms. Shooting. Shooting. Money. Score. Lives. Is that a hot dog? Get to pick cool. up some hot dogs. <laughs> get your energy back. Energy, energy hot dogs. Uh, energy. Well, it's, it's either wall chicken or floor <laughs> yep. hot dogs. Floor hot dogs. <laughs> I like it. Oh, hamburgers. Just random hamburgers. Crate hamburgers. Crate hamburgers. Floor chicken. <laughs> wall chicken, crate hamburgers, floor hot dogs. Yep. That is the three essential uh, food groups. Yes. <laughs> oh, and you can go to a store, buy some power ups. Nice. Game making me hungry. Yep. Me mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There's a Switchblade 2. Um, it's by uh, Lawrence Stavely, Cyrano J. Mm -hmm. Almost all these games are by Cyrano? Lawrence Stavely, Stavely Cyrano J. He does a lot of development. Mm -hmm. Um, then we will be moving on to the best Atari Jaguar work in progress. And the first one of that is uh, Burger Tom. Burger Tom. Not Burger Time. Burger, Burger Tom. Tom. Very nice. Um, so there's a very, very old demo. You're not playing this. This is a video. We don't have these games. No. Okay. There's a very, very old demo of this. Okay. But this is an updated video. So we use the video for the okay. Homebrew Awards because we use the newest thing that's available. Okay. Crate Burger Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Crate Burger Tom. Yep. So this is the video that the developer uh, posted last year. It's by OCO. Uh, swap D0 for the code, uh, Marshall Devod Mars for the graphics. Let's see if we can jump to some gameplay here. There we go. <laughs> Very looking forward to playing Oh, this. it looks great. Yeah. I like the backgrounds too. terrifying ads ever of a video game. <laughs> oh yeah. I've been a big fan of Burger Time yeah. since we've been playing it on the show. Like, we played the 2600 version. Um, is there another version we were playing as well? I think it was for 7100. Oh. oh, we got eaten by an egg. Might have got stu stuck on the ladder there. Terrifying. Oh, missed with the pepper. Terrifying. <laughs> if breakfast... Large anth anthropomorphic. Uh, yeah, uh, if, if breakfast, breakfast foods could kill. Yes. Great background. You've got the city. You've got airplane flying through there. Burgers on the side. I mean, if you're making it on the Jaguar, you might as well take advantage of what all the graphics that you can use. Gamadev says, probably where most Americans were introduced to the idea of eggs on burgers. True. Probably. But I mean, sausages aren't on burgers either. So, I'm, unless you have a breakfast sandwich. So, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Why are there sausages? Sausages and eggs are on General around. chaos in the kitchen. Here. And pickles, which people sometimes oh, put on yes. burgers. But... It, a lot of fast food places put bur uh, pickles on burgers. We had chicken burgers tonight. There were pickles in those. Well, they like spicy, actually spicy ones in particular, they, they like putting pickles on. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that was the end of the video. End of video. Uh, next one. We actually do. Under percent, so it's crunchy the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty good. Best. I've seen all three with fries too. I mean, sausages are less likely. Bacon, very common. Eggs, Hawaiian burgers in particular, I think they put eggs on, is, is, is a thing. Mm. Um, 
I think early Simpsons made a joke about the most outrageous burger commercial where the burgers had a fried <laughs> egg. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So uh, go into uh, Jaguar work in progress and we'll be playing. First one is Doom. Doom Second Slayer. One. Doom yeah. Slayer. It's by uh, Welsh Warrior, uh, Rick Day, Lawrence Stavely, and Saturn. This one? Oh, okay. That second one. There you go. Transferred everything. A Venezuelan burger. What? Oh, oh, oh. in uh, The Simpsons, you mean? A Japanese put egg on stuff to make it American. Spaghetti on egg with egg on top. Burgers. Interesting. Mm. I definitely don't see that as American. Putting eggs on burgers, but... Hawaiian, yes. Anything fried. <laughs> Something about eggs in... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very basic when it comes to burgers. Yeah, you just want your mustard. I'm not even a, a cheese fan on burgers, no. which is really, really basic. Just mustard. You like bacon. I like lettuce. I like bacon. I like mustard. Yeah. No ketchup. I, I find cheese too gooey. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm a weirdo. ZPH. Unpacking. Nice. This was for the world premiere of Doom. Oh, was it? Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Very Heap fancy. size. Inefficient. Insufficient. Nothing to see here. <laughs> They're all fake. Fake. Uh... No ketchup for me either, says Carl. I am not a ketchup fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all the Americans out there. <laughs> I like mustard. I like mustard on things more what about than ketchup. For your fries. You do use ketchup then or would you prefer mayo I prefer or other other toppings i, I an oh. a, a good garlic aioli yeah goes a long way um chipotle mayo excellent um oh captain classic abc burgers best avocado bacon cheese interesting Sorry. heinz i don't think heinz is canadian i'm pretty sure heinz is american it's only hurt me plenty Ooh, Crunchy the Clown. I like ketchup and mustard and mayo on my burger. But the ketchup and mayo have to be as far away from each other as possible. Oops. I personally feel like ketchup and mustard mixed together tastes like vomit. And I think that might have come from childhood. <laughs> Maybe I had ketchup and mustard and it made me sick. <laughs> but I do not like those two toppings together on things. I can I can have ketchup. I can I can put fries in ketchup. I can have mustard, but I do not like ketchup and mustard on something. It's a personal I don't know. I don't know. It's just something I don't like. This looks fantastic and really dark. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter on the stream. Is it? Okay, that's good cuz it's very dark on the screen. Ooh. Kill him. Okay. Having grown up in the South, gravy is the best condiment. Yeah, gravy. I can see that. Gravy's People good. love their, their biscuits and gravy, right? Crunchy the Clown says, I don't mind the mix, ketchup and mustard. I just feel like they're two very different flavors. They should not be together in anything. You can put relish and mustard or relish and ketchup together, but ketchup, mustard, and relish is a no for me. It's a hard no. Mayo and mustard on the burger, then I dip the burger in my fries ketchup mound for each bite. Oh, so you dip it and eat it on the surface. So the ketchup's on the surface and the mayo and mustard are in the burger. So it's BBG double down. People are very, very, <laughs> very picky about how they eat their burgers. I am not a fan of American cheese. Never really have been. Yeah. If I put cheese on a burger, I prefer like, like, ch like real cheddar. But in general, I'm not a cheese sauce or a cheese person. I don't know. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Um, mushrooms and Swiss cheese on a burger is, is really tasty. Yeah. I like that. I like that combo. Um, Captain Classic doesn't like mustard on burgers. Only hot dogs, but horseradish, oh. horseradish mustard or brown mustard is tolerable. Horseradish. I That's like horseradish. Put on a Horse, oh my god, I can't even say it. Horseradish mustard or brown mustard. You do really like um, Dijon on yep. certain things. Yep. Dijon's good. Craft singles, no. 
Oh Just no. no, I'm not a fan. Bottom of the barrel for cheese. Yeah, <laughs> that's because American isn't really cheese. It's like spam isn't meat, it's a byproduct. <laughs> What about Cheese Whiz? I'm not a Cheese Whiz fan no, either. There's I, something about the consistency that's always turned me off. The only thing I liked Cheese Whiz on was celery. No, we would put peanut butter on celery. Peanut butter goes on everything. Peanut butter goes on everything. <laughs> so good. In that way, we are very American. We yeah. like our peanut oh, butter. so much. Fantastic. Although I do like Kraft, macaroni and cheese, Katie here in Canada, that that's a childhood nostalgic favorite is is craft dinner which i haven't had in a long time Just macaroni in general i, I love okay. i love macaroni there's doom we're going to go on to doom two fitoko that is fancy i had a burger with caramelized pears last weekend i would be what? down caramelized was there pears. brie on it too because caramelized pears and brie is like a perfect combo Oh, that sounds really good. Now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and we had burgers. Let's talk about food. We had burgers for dinner too. We did. Well, chicken, we had chicken we burgers. chicken fried chicken burgers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's delicious. Very good. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> We're talking about food in the chat now. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Doom Two Slayer Edition mm -hmm. by Welsh Warrior Rick Day, Lawrence Stavely, and Saturn and Matt Smith. Oh. All the next. All these three games. Doom, Doom 2, and Heretic. All Slayer okay. editions. All by the same people. All Cyrano. Yep. Cyrano and Co. Sneer, Cyrano and Team. And Team. Also had blue cheese. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Funny thing is most fancy restaurants will admit their secret ingredient in sauces is Velveeta. Because it doesn't separate where when it melts. Yeah. I mean, oh. that is the reason to like American cheese is because it stays smooth. But there's the consistency is, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind like real cheese separating and getting it's oily. It's hard to tell. I like a good oil, oily cheese. Whether you've taken off the wrapper off of uh, I uh, know. <laughs> craft slices. I don't know why. I, I yeah. It's just <gasps> yeah, it's so said, shiny. So your pear had blue cheese. That is super fancy. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Chitlila says, Nile Red recently made a video in which he made American cheese. It's basically another cheese plus a preservative. Yeah. Um, provolone for a grilled cheese. I'm going to turn up the... Yeah, VVG says, Kraft Singles are the best for burgers and grilled cheese. I think anywhere where you want it to melt, that's usually where it ends I up. I can turn up the But it's, it's just never been my favorite. I don't know. Ooh, look at that nice oh, there's so many glowy options. red eyed skull that's fantastic oh now i can change it Good. nightmare ultra violence too young to die well, i'll do it on not that. too rough not too rough is a good, good starting point Gins, please behave Shotguns and your boots. <laughs> I guess if bacteria can run Doom, the Jag should be able to. Bacteria. <laughs> hey, leave Bernie alone. Oh, is he attacking Bernie? Yes. Are you going after this guy? He's not yours. He's <laughs> ours. He's our toy. I know you think all toys are your toy. It's not your toy. All toys are cat toys. No, Bernie's ours. He really wants. He, he's ready to go. He's ready to go for tree time whenever it comes up. Yeah. I think he is. I go. have a good feeling he's gonna oh, win. Oh. Oh, Just go. saying. Oh, you're bleeding. Oh, oh, five percent health. Oh no. Oh, you're about to die. I need some health. Where's the door? Where's the door to health? No, oh, I think I need. To. Yeah. Stop it. You died. Let's give that a minute. Quick go. <laughs> Quick go there. My uh, forehead looked like when I uh, banged it on that shelf. Mm. That? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I need a shotgun. Or like when this cat bite, bit your toe that is finally healed. Uh, it's at 99.9%. 99.9. This cat... Don't get him panicked. He will literally bite your toe off. <laughs> literally. Yep. He uh, did some damage to James a few weeks back. Get him. 40% health. You need... Half a year. Oh! oh. 
There is some help. Oh my god. Get it. It's not gonna help me much, but. Oh. Help, help me. Four percent? Is that 44. it? Forty-four. There's more. Forty-four percent. No, but you were at forty. Oh. Didn't give you very much help. No, is that like nineteen? Ducky ducks. Hello. Oh. I would like to order a burger. <laughs> no cheese, please. Mustard only. Oh, there you go. Thanks so much. For your toe. <laughs> For your toe. Oh. Oh. Shoot it. Will it Exploding explode? barrels. Yeah. I don't know if anybody was in there. No, but that's okay. I don't have to do oh. oh, yeah. trouble. Oh, there's trouble. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, I've only got the shotgun. And I have the ah! inappropriate, inappropriate controller. Okay. Looks pretty impressive, though. Oh, it's absolutely incredibly impressive. Mm -hmm. okay. Bernie's going back up here. He's oh, and he's down the back. Of the oh no. Oh, Bernie. And for the last of the trilogy, it's heretic. 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 Now, this one is very very early, um, but does have the basics. Yeah, I'm like. One more uh, nail clipping away from my toe being perfect again. <laughs> Back to normal. Yeah. Just have to clip it one more time. You. You you're ready? You're ready for tree time? Is that, Is that what, that what you're saying? Is that what you're trying to meow? Oh, kitties. Little bear cat, yes. Bigger cat? Bear. 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 He's a bear cat. He's lost all his brown, though. I, he has some brown on his belly still. This is obviously a temporary title screen. Gotcha. I'm sure Sprite will help clip it. Yeah. You want to clip my nail? Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> sweet kitties. They are oh, sweet Oh, they kitties. are very sweet. They're very they demanding. really want tree time, though. Okay. You guys ready? Are you ready for tree time? Are you going to let your brother win this time? Oops. I think the answer to that is no. No, he's gonna he's gonna play his hardest and he's gonna win. He's all in, Sprite. He's all in when it comes to treats. Heretic. This is... I don't know this game. Um, instead of guns, you have spells. Really? Yes, you have different types of spells. And you have lightning, and you have. Of course, I have nothing right now. Are you picking stuff up? Oh, I just picked some. I d there's no real enemies in this yet. I mean, there's that, but it, it doesn't attack you. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's, it truly up. is in a work in progress. Yes, very early work in progress. Crunchy the cr Clown says, I have this for the Saturn. Oh. I don't think there was any weapons yet in this. For a more comprehensive information about this game, definitely look up the past uh, gameplay uh, playthrough of it when we debuted it on the channel. But for now, I'm just going to wander around a bit. Hey, it's Kev. Hey, Kev. Ooh, there's some stuff. I don't know how much I can pick up on Oh gee, I was never a big FPS person, but Heretic appealed to me more than Doom just because I'd me rather too. blast monsters with, spe with spells than shoot humans with guns. Yeah. Yep, I really loved Heretic. Uh, when I and Hexen played, as well. What was, uh, not Skyrim, what was the one before it? Um, Morrowind, no, that was two that before. That was two before. Um, oh my goodness. Anyway, I played a spellcaster and I just kind of loved just zapping things with spells all all day <laughs> long. There was something about that original game. Oblivion, thank you. Yes. Um I really enjoyed being a spellcaster in that game cuz your your hand would come up and would go zzz, you know like oh, it was yeah. just something about the mechanism. Oh, very visceral. Was very enjoyable. Yeah. I think Skyrim was the same. It was that first person view, but I just remember it more from Oblivion for some reason. Playing Oblivion and zapping. Daggerfall. I think that's even older. Daggerfall. Yeah. yeah. Oblivion was the one. I don't think I played anything before Oblivion. I played Oblivion and then played Skyrim to death because that game is epic. Um, 
Oh yeah, Skyrim's amazing. Skyrim's amazing. Okay. Might have played it twice. Not a lot of games I've played twice, so. The next one uh, is video only. So we'll switch over to that. These cats put up with a lot when they think they're getting treats. Yeah, they play cutesy when it's treats. I'm giving them lots of massages right now. Oh, kitties. The toga says, if I remember well, Heretic included a kind of vertical moving not found in Doom. Yeah. Where all was at the same ground level. Yeah. It had a, it was 2.5D. So there was no floors above floors, but it had... Like ramps? Well, Doom also had ramps as well. Yeah. It had vertical moving. Maybe it had like platforms mm. that you could go under and stand on but it still wasn't 3d 3d okay so this uh this now does have a download but for the purposes mm. of doom didn't have slope floors ah. slope floors but it had stairs like i went upstairs to get uh, uh, just up a, a short yeah. level yeah um, for the purposes of the awards yes. the cutoff is december 31st okay so anything released in that time, that's what you have to judge it on. Okay. This game has now has a downloadable gameplay. Like a full game? That a demo that you can download and play. Okay. But before December thirty first, it only had a video. So you're just you're so just you showing the can video. You only judge it on the video. Really? Yeah. Mm. Because otherwise people just keep updating and updating and updating. Mm. And it doesn't work. There has to be a cutoff. Not that I can stop them from playing the demo, mm. but, uh... Can you play the demo? No. Yes. Oh, you can play it. You can play it, yep. Okay, it's not just a visual demo, it is more than a video then. This is just a video, because this is all that was released. Oh, that's what I mean. It w it's only a video. Yeah. But it is a game now, is It is a game saying. now, yes. But per the rules, ah. you can only judge it by what was released in 2023. Ooh, spikies. Yep, don't land on the spikes. Oh, that's pretty so cute. Is, uh, Look at that background. This is kind of related to a game that I played on the C64. Mm. It's reminiscent of it. It's in the same genre, let's yes, say. Yes, yeah. Uh, called uh, Bouncer Man. Bounced. Yeah. Um, except you were a tennis ball. Oh, I see. And you would you would have the same vertical perspective. And I'm and I'm guessing there was a lot of those types of games. I don't know which was the first of those. Maybe it was bounced. Maybe it was something else. Um, but this has a similar, similar feel to it, where it's a vertical. Needs 3D glasses. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I'm guessing you could probably do 3D glasses games on the Jaguar. Yeah. And you just have two sprites that separate out. Um, or you could probably maybe do a shutter and do 30 frames per second and. Hmm. One and then the other, I don't know. Some, this didn't have 3D glasses as far as I know, but it did have a planned, oh boy, <laughs> a planned VR system. Gotcha. Which is now emulated on big PEMU. And so you can actually do VR games, Jaguar VR games in emulation. Mm. Jaguar gets 2D version of Yump, while the 2600 got a, a 3D, 3D version. 3D version, yeah. <laughs> That's um. true. Yeah, that's like Yump also has the same feel, but it's a it's a third person per behind. Well, you're not looking down; you're looking, looking forward. Straight. Yeah, yeah, it's cool though. So it bounces like this. This one bounces like three D. Cool, very cool. Yeah. Um, and then the last one. For Best Atari Jaguar work in progress, homebrew is Shoot'em Up 3D by Dr. Typo. And we're back to the console. Let's switch back over. Crunchy the Clown wants to know where to get Doom Slayer Edition. Uh, it is not available yet. The only way you can yum, yum, see yum, it yum, 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 yum. is when we played it on our show. Oh! Is and it being when released? we just played it at here. some point, or it's still very much a work in oh, progress. Oh, still very much a work in progress. Gotcha. So okay. they have not updated when they're going to um, release it, but you will definitely find out. Okay. 
All right. Thank you, Gamut Dev. The cats oh. are ready to play. It's treat time. It is treat time for the kitties. Gosh, let me get the bets going. Get ready oh. to start. Ah. What is happening? Chaos. The ball fell. Cat <laughs> chaos. Cat chaos. Okay. Place your bets on the cats. We've got in this corner a black cat. In this corner we've got a gray cat. Can't reach him. Um, last time the black cat won by three points. Just though. Atari Just. was doing well. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hit the coaster. He's ready to go. Light up the concept of what they're hitting. <laughs> they just know to hit something. So let's switch over <laughs> to the cat cam. So predictions. Out. The predictions are underway. Hopefully it works out the for cat. you. There's already a bet on Sprite 1, 2. Yeah. So click on predict. Oh, somebody's on oh, the Atari 3 Plus. Someone's on the Atari. Atari. Just betted 1, 2, 3. Are they, you feeling good? Somebody feeling believes good? in you. Somebody oh. believes in you. <laughs> Uh, oh, more on Sprite 1 2, which yeah, is the safe bet. I yeah. don't blame you. I don't Puss blame in you. bets time, correct? Puss in bets time. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you hungry? You're about one minute away. Are you going to actually bells. hit the bell? You got to hit the bell, eat quick, then hit the bell again. Yes. You can't take your time. Don't be batting it all over the place. Nope. You just hit the bell. Eat the treat, oh. hit the bell again. Only thing left is Sprite 3 Plus. Oh, Nobody's put on Sprite no 3 Plus. Oh, 10. Yep. yep. Oh, Gotta get that covered. little bet in. Yep. We're all covered All the now. bets are covered. Excellent. We've got about 30 seconds left. <laughs> are you now, guys ready? There has been some cat doping. Cat doping. About mm, 45 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> which usually throws it in Atari's favor, but it has to be within a certain time limit. And I would I say about 20 know. minutes. So it's kind of outside that window. I mean, no, uh, don't smack my toe. That doesn't give you any treats. <laughs> did, he, did he hit your toe? He's like, touch. Yeah. Atari, um, a Sprite can get a little woozy after the, after the, um, I think maybe it's because he's catnip. woozy rather than Atari. I think you're correct. Atari I think can it, handle I think it better. He, Atari can handle okay. his catnip. And we're done. It's cut All off. Right. So no, spread them out, please. Cause you had them pretty close together there. Oh, start with Atari. Good Atari. Atari's oh, got Sprite. One. Sprite's got one. Chew it up good. It's a tie right now. He's a faster Sprite's eater back that's to his Sprite. bell. And he's rung it. It's 2 1. Are you throwing it really far? No, I'm not. Okay. It's there. Oh. oh. And Sprite's Distracted. inhaled it. I don't think he eats it. He just swallows it. It's 3 2 for Sprite now. It's 3 3. It's all tied up. Atari's lagging a little bit behind. He's a slower eater. But if he's accurate with the bell, he can catch up. And it's now 4 3 Hit for the bell. Sprite. Hit, Hit the it. bell. Good there kitty. we go. Oh, smacked it around. Four, him. four. I'm going to put my feet up. He's Another one for Sprite. Their claws clipped. Five, four for Sprite. Oh, he's back. Five, five. He's catching up a little bit more. He needs to eat it a little bit faster to be able to, did to, you lose to win. It? Did you lose it? Did you lose it? He did. He did. Sprite's got one. Oh, he's given up. He's going back to the belt. Ding hit it. That, hit it. Ding it. Oh, Sprite got another one. Ding it. Come on. The bell. The actual bell. <laughs> Not the floor. There, there you, you go. go. Seven six for Sprite. Sprite's got another one. It's eight. It's almost game point. So one away. Can Atari get some in in the meantime if he eats it quick and Sprite's distracted, but I don't know. It's now game point for Sprite. It's nine to seven. Will we see a three? Will Atari ring it once more before Sprite? Did you hit it? Ring it. The bell, the actual bell. Oh, oh upset. Oh, what an upset. It was oh, so close. Oh, kitties. Wow, three plus again. He was doing well. He was, he was just behind. He just gets so distracted. He looks at me instead of the bell when he's trying to hit it. Yeah. Whereas, it, you'll notice Sprite positions himself behind the bell before he hits it. He reaches behind. He's not looking. And he misses it. You got to keep your eye on the bell. Keep your eye on the bell doesn't so let's see who got sprite three plus yeah, not again i can't have to clean my hands yes yeah. thank you sprite three plus there was six thousand on sprite three plus crunchy the clown is the big winner Ooh, crunchy the clown. Good job. and four others oh a lot of people bet on sprite three plus but most of it goes to crunchy so they'll split the pot of 9,911 points. Congratulations, Crunchy. 
on your big win. Okay, so we are back to the last game. So that was good timing to put that in just before we play the last game. Let's get it up on the screen. Switch over all our inputs. Okay. Last one is Shoot 'em Up 3D by Dr. Typo. Fighter, aggressive, beware of shots. Be aware of shots. Mind damaging, destroy this quickly. Rock, indestructible, instant death. Power up, increase shields and shooting rates. We want that. Sentinel, harmless, destroy this at will. I think we've wrapped around. We have. The only thing we can't kill is the rock. And we collect. The only thing we collect are the green things. I missed that one. Little, uh, I'll let you play it. Me? What, are, ooh, what? What? What am I doing? Am I hitting these things or dodging? Them? Shoot them with B. Dodge them until you can shoot the... them. There you go. B. 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 There you go. And when you see a green thing, uh, pick it up. There are rocks which are indestructible. So dodge. Chitla Lass says, I finally won one, but everyone went with the same option the last second, so I didn't win much. Oh, no. Oh, that's what happens. Oh, I'm, I'm very disappointed. I thought Natari was going to do better. I thought so, too. So you pick up that green one. Okay. And you'll increase your fire rate. You can't hit the walls. Uh, I don't think so. No, like you can't. It, it doesn't hurt you. Oh, it doesn't hurt you. Okay. Avoid those shots. Oh, those shots. I didn't know what that was. Avoid everything except for green. Okay. Yep. That's good to know. The only thing you can't kill is uh, the rocks, and they'll look like solid rocks. Those? No? Kill everything. Everything. I've heard this music before. It might be temporary music, or it might be music that um, the developer has used in one of their games before, or they're borrowing it just for... Oh, you can't kill that. That's okay. It's the only thing you can't kill. The red? That kind of reddy brown. Round so red objects. in general is bad. Yes. Green is good. Red is bad. Usually the way it works. Yep, just like uh, stoplights. Green, good to go. Red, do not go. Let's take one. So there's a bar in the top right. Is that my health? I think it's one hit. It's instant death. Is, that... is it? Oh, I think the bullets might hurt you. When you run into a mine, it's instant death. Oh, yeah, you're going down. Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh, what's happening? I think you went out, out of bounds. Oh. I think you accidentally went out of bounds because you got hit. Oh. You got hit again. And you got hit again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh, the cats are gone now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I think we're like... We're still playing? Oh, 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 I almost found... Okay, up, 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 up. Oh, I think we're out of bounds and we can't get back turn, in. Turn left? Left, right, left? What's going on? We're like outside the play field. Oh, no. It didn't reset us inside. Oh, no. Still a work in progress. <laughs> but we got one game in. We did. It's kind of funny that... It's neat. Yeah, I'm going to try and crash and see if I can crash. Sounds like seven. music that was used in a demo scene program. Oh, well, could it's possible. be. They could have got... Um, well, even the enemies are out of bounds. Come on, hit the side. One more. One more. Whoa, oh, one more, one more. Come on. Just one more hit. I can try and start it again. There we go. 
Oh, I think we're out out of it. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, it keeps you kind of where you were when you died. Gotcha. There we go. Sweet. We have made it. Yay. This is the best part of the year is it's, playing all of these games. Yes. They're the they're best all, games of the year. They're always amazing. All really good games. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed a lot. Looks like a fun a game. It was. It's a pretty fun game. That's yeah. 3D shooter. We didn't get very far. <laughs> um, so the next episode will be the last playthrough. Mm. Be Atari 8-bit games. There's four categories for the Atari 8-bit games. Uh, Atari 8-bit, 5200 Homebrew Original, Homebrew Port, mm -hmm. and then the two Work in Progress, Original and Port. And there's a bunch of games. And a bunch of Polish names I need to pronounce, but I've got... You don't need to pronounce them. Yeah. I get to do the voiceover, so yes. you have to tell me well, how to pronounce Next episode, I have to say them, too. Very true. Very Probably true. be recording that tomorrow night. Yeah? The voiceover? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I will, uh... Kind of Gear look up. forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be saying lots and lots of names. Oh, lots of names. Actually, it's kind of fun. Yeah. I could do voiceover work. Yeah? Yeah. You've yeah. got enough practice at it. You can have it on your resume. I would enjoy it. I would enjoy doing it. I think my voice is my vo voice is very croaky today for some yeah. reason. I think I have some mild allergies going on. But, oh, no. Um, I think voiceover work would, would be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's highly competitive. Oh, I'm not <laughs> saying I could do it for a living, but I, I do enjoy it, so... Um, so, yeah, like I said, um, 8-bit games, next episode, playthrough, mm -hmm. plus we're going to also be playing Tony, a new platformer game that uh, I haven't been able to put in, in mm -hmm. so it fits in well with the Atari 8-bit there. Perfect. Um, then, I don't know if we'll get any shows between the 6th Annual Atari gotcha. Home Awards, but I probably get bored and I'll want to do one. Okay. Um, because there's like a whole week between them yeah so but you need you, there's a lot of show. organizing to do there right? is yeah so if i get ahead in the organizing enough yeah i'll schedule another show and play we will be playing rocketeer rebounced mm. plus probably a couple 2600 games as well kind mm. of a mixed bag because there's been games that have been developed and released in the last oh, you find it um while well, we've been playing <laughs> through the um no it's not fixed i haven't had time it's sitting right up there, all apart. Oh, really? Oh, no. But I know what I need to do to see if I can fix it. Okay. At worst, we'll play through S-Video, which mm. looks quite good. And that head doesn't have any problems. It's just the VBX board, and the RGB out from that. But I have a couple leads to try and fix it. Um, and then, of course, February 24th, the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation at noon. All four co-hosts, all two cats, and if they if they want, but yeah, yeah, if they wander on set, um, we need to find them nice little tuxedos or something. We've got bow ties for them. We do have bow ties. Yeah. They will not put up with totes tuxedos. No, I know. I They'll know. They'll be like eh, eh, They'll be scratching and kicking them off. That'd be so cute though. And um, yes, and we'll have <laughs> live acceptance speeches. Excellent. From the winners. Excellent. And oh, uh, yeah, I'm lots of fun. I'm gotcha. Oh, no, he won't. <laughs> oh, I wanted to pick him up. Scrambling away. He's like, no. And of course, in March, we have the developer spotlight on oh, Steve yes. Engelhard, Atarius Maximus. Nice. Don't know what day it is yet. It's going to be a Tuesday. Okay. To work well with his schedule. Nice, nice. Uh, we're also going to be playing the basic 10 liner contest entries, of which one is Vitoko. Excellent. We Looking forward. Might They're always amazing. Play his game earlier than that. Okay. He, I think he really wants me to play it. Earlier. Okay, okay. Not delay it till <laughs> uh, April. <laughs> Um, because he has released it, so oh, it nice. is playable okay. now. Okay. Sometimes people don't release their 10-liners till the contest is done, but most do, I think. Kind of ahead of time, yeah. yeah. And then in May, we're going to be doing the Atari 7840th Anniversary Classic Gaming down Countdown. Somebody was uh, questioning the year that the 40th anniversary is taking place, and he said they weren't released in uh, 1984. No. They were released in 1986. Yes and no. <laughs> uh, the 7800 was wide released in 1986. 
1984, they did a very limited release in Southern California. Of course. Before the company changed hands and they were all pulled from the shelf. Because oh. they were scheduled to be re released in 1984. But then they got delayed. Then to they got delayed for two years. Oh. Which really hampered their sales. Yeah. And because by that, it's... Imagine, imagine nowadays the PlayStation 6 got delayed by two years all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Be devastated. So yeah. it was quite crippled by the NES at that, that point. Yeah. Still had good games, but they were very yeah, outdated at that when point. When you think of the cycle of games and oh, consoles, fast. two years is too long. Two years too is long. half the life cycle of a of a, Some of a console. Some consoles, yeah. 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 Um, but games were put out then. Yeah. And there's a video of people, uh, of a guy showing off the packaging that was released really? in 1984 and it looks different than the 1986 packaging. Interesting. It actually has a um, kind of a like the Vectrex okay. kind of squares going off into infinity look to them. Oh, that's cool. And I really like it, actually. I yeah. was like, why didn't they stick with that? Yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't been able to locate what the boxes look like. Maybe they didn't change the look of the boxes, but I'll have all this ready by May, all the background of this. Ooh, so that's why the 40th, we're, yeah. So that's why we're doing the 40th. It literally was available in 1984 to a very small amount of people oh. and it was scheduled to be released in 1984. Oh, okay. So that's why we're doing it. Mm. Cool. Not going to not going to do it in 1986 or in uh 2026. Mm -hmm. I will do it this this time around. Purple themed, 2600 is red, 5200 is blue, 7800 had purple. Yeah. Of oh. a fairly old model 7800. Nice. Very cool. I like the 84 design, so do I. Um so thank you for hanging out with us yes. today and checking out all these games. Make sure, if you have not already voted, go do some votes. There you go. Um, maybe you hadn't checked out the Lynx and Jaguar before this. So this might give you a little bit of an overview. Definitely do more research on your own of these games. Play them with an emulator. Go watch other people's videos, however you need to do it. And then go vote in uh this these categories and all the other ones as well check mm -hmm. them out you've got less than a week left um so definitely uh vote if you can it would help a lot sigh we could have had firefox mm -hmm. yep uh did it have the side port for the laser disc yes Ooh. early 7800s had a port for laser disc what ads. yeah they had planned on having it as an ad but they never had a laser disc no no. But that is cool. There was no way to interface it. They didn't release their own. They didn't release software that would work with it or anything. Nothing. What? That I think anybody... I had no idea. That is the most 80s thing I've ever heard in my life. They had <laughs> yep. a laser disc port. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing like... Wow. It would play... It would be like a merge where they would have the video in behind and overlay the graphics on top of the video. What? With a, so games played off Laserdisc, or you played Laserdisc movies on it? You would play the game and the Laserdisc. I've seen games like this. Really? Where video, like, video games are overlaid on top of the video. Wow. Yeah. It, hmm. it would have been very, very cool. That would have been cool. Um, I can't remember what system. Beer Pocock says that. something like a green screen. Lumkey, yes. I think. Wow. Yeah, like Turbo was... Arcade. Turbo oh, arcade. like an actual, some of the arcade games do oh, that. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, that's where I saw it. That's cool. Firefox was Atari's only Laserdisc arcade game. Oh, okay. Based on the Clint Eastwood movie. Oh. oh 32X is like that, too. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, but there's a huge uh, console crash. Well, yes, of course, yeah. Not home computer crash. <laughs> Those kept going very well. Very well, yeah. <laughs> uh, North American... Console, console crash yeah. you have to be very specific yeah because people thank you for following torhen rick online <laughs> Tor and rick online because in europe they didn't even know it happened yeah because they all played computer games in europe well so they had like, the zx crash? zx spectrum zx which spectrum. was like a combo console c computer right like kind of a well it's a computer it was a computer, was a computer but it like seemed more console like but i don't know it was a computer. just little and 
Yeah, it was cute. Oh my god. It was so a cute. cute computer. It wasn't a very functional computer as far as typing and well, stuff. Oh, it was terrible. Right? Yeah. Chiclet keyboard. Yeah, no, um, no. The later versions had proper keyboards. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, but cool. yeah, that would have been cool to see the laser disc. But mm. because of the crash and the delay, they're like, well, now laser discs are kind of not, they didn't sell well, so why would we do that? <laughs> Vera Pocock, those are about the only years that Commodore didn't file for bankruptcy <laughs> on a tropical island. Yeah. 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 Oh, Commodore. I could go on and on. Uh, if, if, uh, I were the head of Atari at the time, I would have scrapped the ST and poured all resources. Yeah, 7800. Yeah, yeah, get it out the door as soon as possible. I mean, hindsight. That's, yeah, that's it would have done so works, well. Right? Like yeah. you can see the seven eight hundred homebrew that's coming out right now, and see the power yeah, that the seven eight hundred has and what it can do. <laughs> oh my God, it would have done so well if they put the right developers and the resources mm -hmm. into the seven eight hundred going against. But at that time in eighty four, yeah, it would no store would touch a a con um, a console. It wasn't yeah. till uh, the NES. And yeah, they Nintendo. They snuck it in the back door with Rob and saying, "Oh no, it's a game. It's 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 a little, it's a little fun game. It's not a not a video game. Really? It, you, you use this Rob guy and you pick up things and he interfaces with the TV and it looks like a VCR. Yeah, they they so they had snuck to, it in. They they, they had to do their best to say it's not. Wow. What was the name? Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, yes, entertainment. It wasn't a video game system. Oh. Yeah, a utility device like a VCR. Yeah, interesting. And that's that was the big return to video games for North America. Well, it was Nintendo 100%. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know how successful Atari would have been. They would have had to do some some, you know, something like what Nintendo did. Yeah. And hmm. I don't I don't know if that's possible. Hmm. Hmm. Ironically selling the NES as a toy would have why it had a really bad launch in the UK. Yeah, because yeah. the UK was still all about video games. So and computers. And computers. Yeah. Funny times, funny times. <laughs> I had I was none the wiser in eighty four. I was like, eh, I still play video games. Yeah. I don't know what's all happening. Good. good for me. Yeah. Um, thank you for tuning in today, Crunch of the Clowns, Smitty B, Gamma Dav, BR Pocock, uh old style. Fitoko. Fitoko. Captain Classic. Who else? Carl G. BVG Double, Double Down. Down. I'll be emailing you soon. Uh, back. Um, oh. Pierre Pocock. May have said that. I think you did. Cubanismo. Miss Command. Cabelli. Oceanx yes. 42. Nice. And everybody else who tuned in. We're lurking in the background. Lurking, lurking, lurking. We like lurkers too. Yes. Our cats Don't lurk. Don't have to say anything. They lurk. Cats lurk a lot. Until it's ding, ding, ding. Yeah, and then, then they get ding, ding, really, ding. really noisy. Yes. Yeah. So we'll see you on Friday with Darcy. Um, I think he just messaged me. I have to message him back. The time might change from noon. Just a little bit one way or the other. So check your local TV listings. And uh, we're gone for now. So we will see Are you. Are we gone for a while? When's, when's the big show? Oh, well, it's your last regular show for a while. This one? Yeah. The next one's Friday, and that's the last one till the Oh, my last awards. regular show. Yes, yeah. And then um, there's a week off, and then the, the awards, right? Uh, yeah, week off, then the awards. Yeah. And then we don't know. Then we'll more see. stuff. More see stuff. How, how quick it takes me to calm down after that. <laughs> It's a After lot of work. the stress, yes. It's a lot of work. But usually it's like yeah. a week. Yeah. Week and a half, maybe. Yeah. Right. Two cats up here. You want to say goodbye? Yeah. Oh. So let's let's see um, come here, come here. who we can... Uh, meow. Meow. Atari Beer Pong often is playing the same who time can as us. Who, who we can raid. Yeah. Someone good. Someone good to raid. I don't We think... take suggestions, too, if there's someone you know. Oh, Atari Beer Pong. He, he plays. Yeah. Yeah. He's always good. He plays Atari games. Yeah, he does. It's uh, it's hard to find uh, sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Du, du, du. Excellent. Ready to Thank you for other... joining us. So, yes. Enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, say hello to Atari Beer Pong, where you're going in a few seconds. Have a good Excellent. night, everyone. Bye-bye.